<laughs> Good evening, <laughs> well dwellers. Welcome back to another episode of Poison Well Live or Poisonous. I'm your host, Fat Pat. With me, as always, is the biggest soy boy cuck of the Twitter sphere, Soy Fame. Hey, everybody. Mm. Do we? Is that? Yep. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at us. Look at. Look at us. One in a row. One in a row. Um. You're in charge of the topic tonight, so uh, I'm uh, pretty much oblivious to the crap that uh, you're going to be spewing, spewing, uh, spewing out tonight. Uh, probably some horrible leftist propaganda crap. Nope, oh, horrible rightist propaganda, propaganda crap. crap tonight. All right, well, I'm, I'm back um, on board. I like it. Yep, we're going to look at, um, spend a little time looking at some of the highlights uh, of a debate about the direction of the Republican Party between Blair White and Carlin Boysenko and Lauren Witzke and John Doyle. Mm. Uh, my wow. favorites. Those are all my favorites. It's just like a, a laundry list of people I don't uh, Yeah, that's fuck like the only about. people you're subscribed to. Yeah. Just suck them all off. <laughs> um, Pat has always had a nose ring. Yes, I've had a nose ring for a few years now. Uh, I normally just had my cute little stud. Yeah, he's got a little sparkle but that he keeps there. When I had my, I had a surgery uh, a few weeks ago, and I had to remove all metal objects. And so when I went to go put something, I was like, you know, what? maybe I'll try, I'll try the the hoop, see if that'll make me look sluttier. Um. So we're doing the debate, but before we get going into all of that, I think we need to go to the merch pitch. We, well, let's see if we have. Can do that. The best merch store in the game. We will put our merch store up against any other YouTuber's merch store. Because mm -hmm. we, we don't just have t-shirts and hoodies. We got stuff like skateboard decks, shower curtain, throw it's pillows, true. cups, notebooks, masks. And there's different styles of masks. You can get the turtle style mask. You can get uh, a, a really nice what mask. With a bag? The, ooh, a sweet tote. All right. How and about a greeting got, card? We've got a greeting some, card. Everybody wants this for Christmas. And we've got some amazing artwork from Optic Decay. Optic Decay, yeah. Some OG shit. And uh, Scotch Bunny. Scotch Bunny. And, uh, you're, you're rocking a Scotch Bunny. Um, elephant in the Room. Elephant in the Room. Yes. All of them. All the best artists that you can find. So we've got some really cool swag. Anyway, go to ptw.threadless.com. Link is in the description. And with that, the uh, Streamlabs uh, link is uh, in the description as well. Or you can super chat if you have a comment or want to call this man a soy boy cuck. Sure, why not? Now, announcements. You have more announcements. Well, again, I'm going to be at the Better Discourse 2 conference with uh, some of the people you see on your screen right now. Um, yep. I mean, they invited me. I won't be there. Um, I haven't booked my ticket, but I will. I will tomorrow and get that taken care of so I can I can go to that. Um, Milt might come. Hey, there I am looking upset. Why did they have that clip because, of me looking upset? Because you're going to get dunked on at this conference. Because <laughs> that the conference is, is not for you. Do you see that? That's the clip of me in the living room, like, looking horrified at the laptop. It was the last video we made, though, so... They did take from our freshest shit. Yeah, at least it wasn't one where, like, I oh, look fat. I mean, I look fat in the video, but not that scene. So. Oh, that's you again. Oh. That was Liberal <laughs> Sanity Project. Oh. Anyway. Uh, also, it's uh, Daylight Savings here in Georgia. Yeah. Or Saving Light Saving, as I like to call it. Yep. Because I'm drunk normally. It is in most places on the East Coast, and except for Indiana, West they don't. Coast. They don't do it, right? I think Indiana, they, they, they fuck that. <laughs> anyway, I respect them. Big ups. Yeah. Uh, twat else. Well, I knew it was spring. Spring has sprung. As, as I, I don't wait for any Equinox crap. I, I literally wait until I can smell the hot spunk tree. Yep, that's a good one. <laughs> Sid made it. The uh, when I when the the Bradford pear trees start blooming. 
spring. And I could smell hot spunk on the way over here. Yeah, yep, that's it. Smell it, the kind of fishy cum smell. Yeah, that cummy smell. You know, after a, a night of bukkakeing, I'm like, you know, it's like spring in my room. Um, all right, I guess. But, I mean, I, I could go bring the Jaeger card in now. I think that might. Is it? Is it? Why, why are we doing black screen? You're just staring at the chat, not showing up. Yeah. To just to upset you. I'm hoping they'll come along here. The chat will just suddenly pop into it. Yeah, come on, existence. guys. Um, I'd say type F in the chat, but nobody can see it. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just I'll I'll go ahead and bring the Jaeger card in, which we still let's go ahead and assume that's not working. Uh, we still uh, no one has created a a jingle for the Jaeger card. We could have a theme music to roll the Jaeger. I card, mean, but that hasn't happened yet. I think. Maybe Buzz made a thing that he said he might work on that thing. I don't know if that thing was final. I don't know. I, yeah, I've heard I've heard rumors that people were going to do things. Hey, I fixed it. Yeah, it only shows up once it's been sitting up for a minute. All right. Look, uh, at about this, Pat hasn't seen it, knows nothing about it. I know some of you may have watched it. We're just going to introduce the characters and watch a few clips. And I want to get Pat's feedback as a disgruntled Republican on the direction of his party. I feel disenfranchised. As presented by the characters we'll see tonight. Hey, Mickey. Mickey, who has stopped by our Discord several times. Um, I think she's been in there with, when I was in there, when you were in there, um, with uh, Waz and... Uh, which was, by the way, is bi and uh, trans. He is, yes, uh, I believe on, he came out on the UK trans. census, he finally opened up. And so anyway, it was brave. He's bi and or trans. And, um, and so I'm and honored not. to call him my friend, her, her. Th I'm honored they. to call them my friend. So... This one's to our bi and our trans friend, Wazley. Well, it's gonna be a rough night because I went down too easy. <sighs> Tasted good. Mm. My mouth's like watering. Mm. Anyway, I got people already telling me I need to run. What? Need so to run. Ru run, Pat, run. I'm guessing the interview's not gonna go in my favor. Oh. No, it goes in everyone's favor. It goes in no one's favor. <laughs> and everyone's and no one's. But less in certain people's favor. Like, no one benefits from what you're about to see. But some people benefit a lot less than others. Okay. Oof. So anyway, um, I was going to read the uh, super chat from Mickey the Ficky. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> Let me see if I can do. Now that I've heard Mickey's voice, you think you can nail it in Discord? I I think I can. I think I can nail it. Uh, so, <clears throat> is this okay? Is this is this Streamlabs thing doing it to us like it was doing to uh, Drunken Peasants last night, where it just keeps repopulating the? Okay. This no. Is... Okay. No. No, their problem was totally different. Uh, okay. <sighs> so. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> I'm dry, and I don't got my stimulus. So have him to the bus. Perhaps a toast? toast? Of your sky shots, 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 or, or, or we just... Yeah, I nailed, yeah, I nailed it. it. I don't think you did. I think I did. I think it was fine. I think it was perfect. I don't think you did. Turn on that! Yeah, th yeah, that's exactly what sounds, she sounds like. Sounds 
Sounds nothing like I, dead ass on. Dead ass on. Way I to go. Think, I didn't think it. Dead ass on. I, I mean, I mean, creepy. Like, like it came out of her own mouth. Yeah, got got goose pimples. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The talent. Yeah. The talent that goes into that. <sighs> so. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is repopulating some from last week. You're right. Ah. Wow. Hold on. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Jenny Morgan. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> Jenny Morgan. Here we go. Jenny Morgan has super chatted. Four ninety nine. Come on, kids. Give the boys some money. I like it. Nailed Pour it. it. Nailed it. Oh, shit, Pat. What? What? You want to do the next one? Uh, what's the next one? Catnips. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, shit. I don't know what to say. I think you have to say it with a crotch, is what my <laughs> fear is. I'm afraid that that's the case. Catnips donates $100. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Wow. That Stimmy hitting hard. <laughs> yeah, Stimmy's showing up, people. Uh... Been a while, boys. Fane, you should become Dark Side Phil with your broken leg. And I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. Uh, <laughs> okay. We, we got no, no, okay, it's no. back. Uh, with broken leg and beg for money. Here, I miss you, fuckers. God, we miss you too. Thanks so much. That is huge. Uh, and there's well, everybody knows if there's one over sixty nine, sixty nine. We must scissor. Wow. Now, and here's the thing. I'm not are those wearing... Are still for sale? Do they still have them available? I believe they do. Because I really want them now. They're really cool. And they're the only ones I have that are wide enough to put my big Fat infected foot in. Because like, um, I, I first I was like... And I didn't want to wear my, my hospital boot. Yeah. Because I'm learning to rewalk again. All right. And I'm really glad you wore shorts. I, I, I did. I didn't, I, I didn't think I was going to be showing my, my, my gams, man. Those are... Those are nice. It's very. Hold on. Let me get them. Let me get them up. In you the know, it, it's like the shorts that. Let me get them up in the coach. Let like they get... wore a Reno 911. Yeah. There. I'll That's. Get them, get them up. Oh, right no, no, Look. no, no, about... no, no, I don't know, Pat. Oh, it's so <laughs> camely and toey. It's, it's my, my camel tail. My <laughs> no, 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 no. I want you to put your moose knuckle on my moose knuckle. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> All right. Just me, you guy. It's been, been a while. It has been a while. I've been lonely. <laughs> been, been missing. Need some sugar from daddy. I don't. You look, you know what? I was worried if we're in here, we weren't wearing masks, even though you and I literally go nowhere. And make out with each other. But like, there's a COVID risk, but there's, there's not. It's $100. Now there's a crotch rot. Risk. Yeah, there's debt for you for sure. All right. Which but, one? Which one you propping up? Where? Well, the bad one. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at that pearly one. <laughs> oh god, no. god. I can feel it, dude. Oh god. Oh. You should have pulled your pants on tight. I know. You need some. You need some. Ugh, some wiggle room. I, I felt all of it, dude. Uh, no, no, I felt it too. It like booped. I, I felt like our, ball, like, our, our balls were yeah, locked. Because like, my uh, pants were loose. Like, like, like those old coin purses that you snap together. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, I think. Uh, oh. Man, I need some action. My wife is super pregnant. I haven't been getting any. It's been. I need someone to touch my balls. Oh, <laughs> man. That's. Ooh, that feels bad. Oh, I'm never felt better. <laughs> have fun. Uh, have fun in April. <laughs>
Yeah, I, there's no way that you're gonna be able to hold court with these people to, uh, at the better discourse. Like, were you bumping crotches with people like that? Mm. Yeah, right at the beginning. Just, Just get, open up with it. Get out of the way, man. Yeah, it's nice. So now, a word from our new sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you came uh, here for uh, information, you Manscape. Fucking. Uh, this is not the place for you. Yeesh. Okay. Oh. Anyway, thanks, Catnips, for that moment of life I'm quickly going to block out of my memory. Um, Bird wow. Herd donates five dollars. <laughs> bird, 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 bird. All right. Fane, I'm glad you're walking again. Why did you pick the peg leg over the scooter? Well, I think that answers itself. Yeah. That's yeah. a silly, silly question. Tell me this. Tell me this. What is cooler? An old man on a scooter or an old pirate? An old wise pirate. Huh? It's got information for you. Like, ah, yeah. it's slippery out. Yeah, and I was, <laughs> I was walking out to my car uh, from the office. His ship. Uh, the other day from a ship. And um, I'm walking around the back, and the guys that work next door at, at Crash Masters, so one of them was out there showing somebody their new car, you know, that the car they had just fixed. And um, he looks over at me, and I'm walking straight to him, toward him. And he's like, oh, my God! <laughs> what happened to you? I'm like, oh, I broke my leg. And he's like, holy shit, off? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. And I turn sideways so <laughs> we can see. Foot. It does look, when I'm coming right at you, it looks like I lost my leg from the knee down. Are you land lover GB Warren? It was cool. <laughs> it was cool. But anyway, uh, today is day 42 since I broke my leg. And 42? 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Boom. Should be good. So I put the crutches and the peg leg down here in the basement. I saw it was just propped for, up against the wall. For huh? permanent storage. And this hmm. weekend, I've been learning to walk again. I, I did see that. I uh, go to the doctor Thursday to see if that he says that's cool. If that was a good idea. But I feel like it was, and I've been taking my vitamins, and I feel like we're good. I don't want to wait till Thursday. It's a real pain in the ass. Everything is a pain in the ass with crutches or even the peg leg, which I love the peg leg because you can, like, carry a cup of coffee and two bowls of dog food in the morning, and that saves a tremendous amount of time. Um, all right. D is for Lexia. Lex De Lex Dexia. Lex Dexia. Do you get it? Uh, yeah, I know, but I'm, like my dyslexia is trying to like- <laughs> It's like over, straightening it out. Yes, yeah, it's just overcompensating <laughs> for it. And I'm like, D is for Dex- Wait, I'm like, nope, that's not it. Now you got me. Uh, now that I know my secret, <laughs> I never learned to read. Uh, $10. Good lord. What is your favorite warlock subclass, and why is the bottom tree Nova? Why is it the bottom tree Nova Bomb? Okay, it's not right now. It was that right was now, OG. That, Nova I Bomb have been a Nova Bomb, a Nova Bomber since D one for a long time. Yeah. I love the Nova Bomb, mm -hmm. and uh, I love to wear it BT with my if, my if, two spiky crown. What is that? Is that it called? The, oh, the crown that, of something. I don't no, know. No, it's not the. I thought it was Crown of something. No, you're thinking of the Crown. Crown uh, of Sorrows is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Never Crown mind. of Sorrows, but that's for that's, Tickle Fingers. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, we uh, we don't know what any of the things are called. Yeah, we call them different names. Yeah, uh, so that was for Tickle Fingers. Tickle but fingers. right now, and I do know what this is called. Right now, I am a Geomag Stabilizer with fucking Chaos Reach. Chaos Reach is, is OP right now. It's working. It's fucking. I've, like, I'm I used to not see it. it. Like, I used to not see it. I started it's playing it. Everybody started playing it. The, yeah, it, it's, it's like so a, good. And every, everyone jumped on it fast. It was crazy. Oh, I'm a trendsetter. Uh, Destiny 2 is trash. That's what Trax. Trax, you trend now, on like look, I think he's one of those guys that plays that other game that is kind of like biting off Destiny 2. What is that one called? He runs a, a clan over there uh, called the, the Bacon Raiders. Or I keep wanting to say Baconators, but I know that's from... From a menu I enjoy. Um, but anyway, I can't remember the name of it. He'll say it in the chat in just a second. Um, they'll never nerf it enough for me not to love it. 
uh, unless they do, and then I will definitely go back to being a bottom tree void warlock. Yeah. To get that you're, fucking uh you're definitely a power bottom. To get those that whatever you call it. But yes, you can back. join us on Discord. Uh we have a poison. Links in the Discord. description. And uh you if can it join doesn't us, work, please tell we, me. Uh, you can come play uh Destiny with us Baker or Reapers, even uh, yeah. like Mickey the Vicky. She shows up just uh just to check chat. Just She'll check come in. in while we're playing sometimes and say hello. And if we're not too bit too like focused on the game, we will chat back. Yeah. <laughs> um or snap back. Snap rack. So anyway, uh, holy shit! Thank you everyone for all the donations at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, I like getting it out of the way first because then we won't. That was be very cool of, of you. We like before, done nothing before everyone uh, decides that they hate you, you dirty libtard. We've done all nothing. Right. I don't remember actually. I like the inner stream. The stream started. We did the merch pitch, and then we started. Then we were here at this moment, and then you touched my, my balls. Nope, I don't remember that. <laughs> that is not. So that peach fuzz rubbing up against each other. <laughs> Longing. Wanting. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Warframe. There Thank it is. you. Thank you, Tim. That's it. Back in. All right. Yeah, D is for looks Dexia. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> um, anyway, come join our fucking yeah, you Discord. Can Hop over, uh, add me on Steam. I'm you just search for Sofane. You'll see me, and you get to see an exclusive photo of me uh, from when I was in high school. Oh, that's right. It's, it's a photo of me carrying my keytar, the sweet keytar. Uh, when I was in, it was in my band with my silver spiked hair and a ripped half shirt showing off them sweet abs I had 40 years ago. Aren't you also wearing a blazer? No, I wasn't wearing a blazer, just a sleeveless. Oh, I was wearing a trench coat. Oh, that's, wearing a trench coat. Okay, okay. But yeah, yeah, it's an Independence like... Trucks trench coat. Independent Trucks. Okay. So it's got the little fucking Iron Cross logos that fold. It would fold back on the sleeves, and it has. The, it was blue, and it would have the Iron Crosses. I like. I don't know why I hang out with you now. I wanted to hang out with you then. Oh, it's super cool. Super cool, dude. Um, everybody like me. Okay. Well, then, I, I, I mean, there's no time like the present. I think it's time for you to get into... Yeah, well, I got to get my bracelet back on. It fell off for some reason. This requires a lot of attention. Apparently. Jesus. All right. We're scrapping the uh, motorcycle chain bracelet for the rest of the show. All right, everybody. <sighs> We're going to go through this kind of fast, and then after that, I want to show kind of a related issue with uh lady maga there's a lot of stuff going on with in the republican party about the debate on where they go from here um you know they they won the uh presidential election in 2016 uh, they re they kept the senate at that time um they actually i think took the house at that time I, it was you know, and most states have Republican legislatures and governors. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very powerful time. Uh, Donald Trump was just telling everybody, like, uh, just that they were going to be tired of winning. Uh, two years later, they lost the House. Two years after that, they lost the presidency and the Senate. Uh, So there is some question about how does the Republican Party move forward and start getting these things back, getting this winning back. Start this winning tradition, and what's, what's the best? Crank it back up. Uh, even on a marketing standpoint, what's the direction the Republican Party should be while staying Republican, but find a firm direction? I do not look like Vanilla Ice in my Steam pick. It's false. I, I look it's more false. like Vanilla Ice now <laughs> than you do in that pack, I think. It's the, my hair is standing straight up. What I used was a can of silver Krylon. That's the and way I to would do it. pull it up and just, psh, and then, now the problem is it would turn into a shower of like yes. silver flakes later in the afternoon. Yes. At school. And so you could just like tell where I've been because there's a trail of silver flakes. Yeah. That's fine. Um, 
All right, so we're going to try to figure out how the the Republicans are going to... I'll add everybody when I log back into uh, Steam, probably gonna, tomorrow. To bounce back, the uh, so, so, so these four perfectly upstanding... So what they've done is... Representatives taken, of the Republican Party you know are, are going to fix the debate for the Republicans, and they're going to answer all the questions right now. Right, so what we have is kind of... A, it's supposed to be a two-on-two. Two, okay. Um, with... Uh, Blair White and uh, Carlin Borisenko up against Lauren Wetz Wetz I'm forgetting her name now Wetzky and uh, and uh, John Doyle. So uh, look, let's just let them introduce themselves, uh, and then everybody can kind of get a get an idea of who our characters are in case you didn't already know. Okay, guys, so let's jump right into this. So my question is this. As we look to take back the country from the radical left and we seek to make it a stronger place, Did I how are we going to Hold do on. that? Is it A, by building a stronger that's conservative a Christian moral party? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot. I was going to let them introduce themselves. I'm jumping. I'm jumping ahead. So let's, let's, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. Okay, so I am socially conservative. I'm advocately, I've always been economically populist. Uh, economic populism is the future of our party. However, preserving social conservatism within the Republican Party um, is a real passion of mine. I'm very pro-family, I'm very pro-life. Uh, my whole motto is I just like to win and save babies. So that's what I do. Awesome. Uh, Blair, awesome. go ahead and tell us where you lean politically. Yeah, every political quiz I've ever taken matches center right so that's me i don't have sort of the popular story everyone loves of like i'm a former liberal i'm a lifelong republican always voted that way and yeah that's lifelong. me i'm definitely she's like a 26 bit less socially conservative she's voted in a couple, and, a couple uh, elections twice right there. john go ahead it's a pretty clear copy paste uh, between lauren and myself i think fiscally populist and uh socially conservative carlin are you different than them yeah, I'm a little bit different in that, um, I, you know, some people say I'm a former liberal. I'm actually a current liberal. I have never stopped being a liberal, even though I did leave the Democratic Party. Um, I Politically, on my political compass test, I tend to be right in the center. And I frankly just That's want common liberal. sense people to come up with common sense solutions. Okay. Awesome. So there as you we go. get into this, awesome. I want to let you know something. Awesome. Okay. He said it was awesome. So He I said it was awesome. I must concur. Um, so that's, that's who they are. And look, um, Carlin and I have had back and forth on Twitter because I claim that she's full of shit. Um, as you just did. Look, I also just got blocked by Shu for doing the same thing I'm doing right now. Because you call people out for being full of shit? Well, I say they're full or of shit because, yeah, basically what I'm saying is you're disingenuous. But I don't have that word in my Twitter toolbox. I have shut the fuck up. You fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> um, so I don't have a whole lot of tools to work with to express myself there. I have like 10 different things that I copy and paste replies to. Mm -hmm. And they're all horribly upsetting to anyone who's not me. So, but the thing is, um, Carlin, Carlin's going to... Like she's saying she's a liberal. I love that. And then she's, but she's in the political compass test. She's right down the middle. So wouldn't liberal make, as you get. Wouldn't make, that make her more practically a communist? Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, anyway. then does her opinion fucking matter? If she's right down the middle. It means nothing. Doesn't well, that make her more of a nihilist? Well, that's the thing. She got popular. The reason she's on here is she became popular by leaving the left, right? And. She's one of those. She's leaving the left because she's tired of the culture war, which mm -hmm. she's moved to the right and does nothing but fight. Mm -hmm. The culture war. Um, okay. Now. I'm in? Um, now, you are responsible for watching the chat tonight. You don't want me to do this on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, actually. Um, so anyway, we'll, now we'll go into, let's just go into the first into the first question. Offensive. Uh, 
Uh, Excuse you, Reality sir. checks us. So she's a liberal, like Tim Pool is a liberal? That's that's right. Actually, she's a yeah, pretty similar. And as she talks about her views, we'll learn about what she's liberal about. <laughs> Chris Yossi about. says people need to stop taking those political compass tests. Yeah, <laughs> they, I agree. They really do. I they agree. really do. They're, they're fucking terrible. <laughs> um, also, uh, Chris Yossi, welcome. Uh, she, today she had to take a COVID test, and so she came here tonight to get cancer as well. <laughs> I was about to say, get cancer of the eyes. That's her joke. I stole it. Um, um, <laughs> she, she made that joke earlier, and I just stole it. Damn least, it. But then I, you, then I returned it. Yeah, you returned like, her joke. Like, fuck that. I should have just stolen the joke. It was a good joke. And if I would have been the one everyone saw say it first, or yeah. at least 50 of our closest friends, how many people are here? Don't tell me. It will just upset me. Um, okay. <sighs> let's go to the uh, let's go to the first question let them handle this yep. okay guys so let's jump right into this so my question is this as we look to take back the country from the radical left and we seek to make it a stronger place how are we going to do that is it a by building a stronger conservative Christian moral party or is it B, building a big tent party of libertarians, the disaffected left, conservatives, et cetera? Like with the questions, we'll try to go in the same order. We'll start with Lauren. Yeah, so, uh, you know, yeah. I'm really confused why this is a discussion about the future of the right when we have a liberal, actually, she's a Democrat, with one good opinion. Uh, we also have a transgender on here. Uh, you know, I don't really think we should be giving a platform uh, to this kind of degeneracy, which is a uh, gateway drug to pedophilia. You know, I absolutely disagree. You know, we were the party of traditional marriage. We were the party that opposed gay marriage. We've always been that party. We've always been the party of family. We won handedly in 2016 without the LGBTQ vote. We started losing when we started compromising. So I'm really curious why uh, people who are libertarians, I mean, you have a party of freaks who love the free market that you can join. But don't come into our party and try to influence it because that is how we are losing. And in case. Uh, you're <laughs> I tried to prepare him for this. I did. And then he started telling me about how he reacts to these type of things. And, and, <laughs> and I was like, I don't think you're ready. <laughs> So watching him, watching him real time realize what we're stepping into. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Yes, dude. <clears throat> oh, cheers, everyone. Look at this scientifically well Don't prepared. Drop that on the computer, please. Okay. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> so <gasps> that's gonna help. So that's gonna help. It's taking all, right. all the edge off. So, oh. all right. They let her speak first. Which, if 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 I was the host and I knew what kind of shit she was gonna say, I would absolutely put. <laughs> yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want to keep people from tuning out. No, it's a real grabber. So yeah, that's, that's it's a real grabber. Like this, this is the first answer to the first question. And you could tell she was waiting to say this shit even before the question. She didn't need the question at all because she hadn't even answered. She hasn't gone to the question. She literally just goes, "I don't know why you're asking all these fucking, yeah. that these non conservatives This is a party full of degenerates. Um, I don't know why we need them so here. She, yeah, she's gatekeeping for the 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 right, uh, but she's like crazy far right, <laughs> and. She or, doesn't. She, or she, just me, sort of regular right. I, no, she's not Christian conservative, which is more most of the right here where we are. Sure, this sure. is just saying the quiet part out loud for the people we live around. The Republicans that I know aren't like anti-gay, anti-trans. No, we also live like in Atlanta. You know <laughs> what I mean? The like, problem is that you're. Yeah, sure. They might be Christian and they might be conservative. Take it out they're the not, Pine Top they're Mountain. Not that. Yeah, take that shit out to Ella J. And this. Oh, that's yes. Yeah. 
Look, as you the further away from Atlanta you get, you start to these people start to be by the yeah. dozens. She could be elected fucking queen. Got, got Empress. nine dirty kids named Shane, and no, their eyes look the same direction, like that. All right, but she looks like a Fox News. Like she is like I'm gonna be on Fox News for you, know, <laughs> dude. She, she yep. is playing for that card. Yeah, whether she's grifting just because she's like, oh, I can just play this, or. This is the per she, either she's a representative of the people that she knows will follow her, or she are that person. I, I can never quite tell because sometimes I see so much shit, crazy shit. I go, "Are you literally that crazy?" <laughs> or are you like, "I can milk this." Well, we're, we're gonna let her. We're not gonna watch this whole thing, everyone. Just because I'm watching the first question, we're gonna skip ahead some because we can't go through this. It's an hour long. We're not gonna fucking do that. All right, uh, Knick says, uh, "Talk about easily amusing yourself." What was so crazy about her? You know what? Oh, welcome. S stick around. Welcome. Hey, stay. Um, no, it's nice to have. Um, it's nice. Like last week, we had somebody in the chat who would play the conservative because you're fucking failing lately. No, I'm, I'm a disinfected because I, like, I just can't. You're a disinfected Republican. Yeah, now. I can't. I can't right now with them. Okay. Also, Pat's never been religious. Never in his whole life has he ever yeah, had a religious so moment. That, yeah, so you're never going to win me over. with that's the he, one. It's been, always been a big caveat with being a, a Republican is that I've always had this, like, also because Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've always had that, you know, pipe down. I'm like, no. 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 You're no. kind of a pump the brakes Republican. Like, hey cool with some of this stuff can we slow it down yeah like maybe if they didn't slow see it down. Like, i'll tell you right now how to fix the problem part we, we can skip the rest of this shit stop oh, being okay. so attacking uh, on everybody and and hating people for for anything that's different than than the aryan race okay Th start right. there and we've already made a better republican party all right well let's see if her and john which we won't hear about for much from john because i feel like john spent most like of if the you time don't want to down. give money to welfare that's your right. That's fine. That's why you want to vote. Do you want to get money to welfare? I, I agree with that. That's fine. But don't say, don't call them the blacks. <laughs> you know, the Mexicans. They're taking advantage of our system. <laughs> like, it's when you immediately start shoehorning in my minorities, <laughs> opposed to what the system actually is. But like, I don't want to just give money, my money, to somebody who doesn't want to earn it. That's fine. To but the, the moment you, yeah, the moment you go, the blacks, <laughs> like, then it's like, okay. Where's your problem? Is it giving your money to the blacks? Yeah, or is it I giving mean, the money to the poor? Like, what? where is it? Well, you grew up in Roswell, which was kind of rural when you were young. Yes. And I grew up in a way more rural yes. area than you would think. R and Roswell was way... I didn't know okay. black people, but I knew a lot of fucking white poors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot of them. It was all Leonard Skinner and welfare checks where I was from. Yeah. Okay. All I'm, right. I'm from where David Cross is from. Yes, you that, are. That's his eighth thing. Yes, if you listen to any of his early comedy when he talks about Roswell, Georgia, that's where. Now Roswell, Georgia is practically in the city. Like, you can't look up without seeing a skyscraper now. Yes. <laughs> like, um, so shit has changed in the last, how old are you, 80? 80 years. All right. Uh, all right. So we're, what, five minutes into this? Doing we're good. good. <laughs> okay. This is the first answer to the first question. Oh let's just God. let's just let this. Oh, this F. That's cool. I know we're still out, but maybe get one or two more wow. out of it. You never know. Wow. Look, we're gonna read super chats in just a minute. We'll take a break for some super chats. After yeah, we're gonna we have a little to. Bit in. Let's yeah, let's get a little further in, and then we'll go. Oh my God. All right, Lauren. If you haven't noticed, we are losing. Uh, you know, they are now advocating for chemical castrations for children. We're spotlighting transgenderism at CPAC, um, and I am a traditional spotlighting Christian. it at CPAC. <laughs> How far? How much longer do we make it? <laughs> Ten seconds. God damn it! <laughs> I I was trying to tell you. Cite you... your sources. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Like she's creating a like well, the most can... bo the boogeyman straw man I've ever seen. Like, well, what the I fuck got are you stuff about? later to try to uh, steal man her fucking argument. All right. <sighs> Conservative, I believe in family. I believe that family is the foundation of everything that this country was founded on. And no, I do not believe that we should be compromising our values and spotlighting a lifestyle that is a gateway drug to pedophilia every single time. And you cannot deny it isn't because it's here. Every time. You can't deny it. You can't deny, you can't it. deny it's not. 
Oh, yes. think right, that right. there. So you can't deny it's not. Like you can't just like cut away the argument. Like that's all she did. She just you can't deny it's not. Like boop. That just ends boop, the argument. Done. Like I said a fact. Done. You can't deny it's not. There's no. Who's next? You have no science to back up the science I just brought, which is make em ups. So, all right. All right so, who's Let's, up next is is Blair. Blair. Blair is going to fix this, right? Right, Queen? There's a right. difference. Between <laughs> yes, Queen. You spoke sort of to gender ideology, which is definitely rampant on college campuses, definitely taking over culture. I think that's different than just people who, as individuals, may technically be gay, lesbian, bisexual, any of the above. Um, and I think that it's possible to fight against gender ideology with, while holding true that there are going to be people that are just different in life. I definitely am not here to speak to the future of social conservatism because that's just not my lane. But as far as the party, um, I think that a big tent is most likely the future. I think that speaking, knowing my generation and a lot of people my age, which is mid twenties and, and Gen Z a little younger. I think that they voted for Trump the first and second time or just the second time um, because Trump kind of ushered the party into an era of a little more secularism. I don't think he was overtly religious. I think to an extent he was a little performative with, with religion and with prayer and things like that. Uh, yeah, that's um, and I think true, that attracted but... a lot of new voters. Okay, well, that's fair. Well, that's that's fair true. Thing. Like we saw, we knew when he, when when he, he when held he had, the Bible yes, upside down. Yeah, when, and... he, when he had, when he had all, all the lip tarts kicked out of that park so he could go take a picture of a Bible upside down, which it was not a stunt. It was, it was literally, oh, he's going to do that. And you know, they just but, to, but also on this very live stream, we've showed dozens of times how of evangelicals, like worship the man and think he's bringing Jesus back into the White House. And so it does kind of show that there is a war going on for the soul of the Republican Party. And what I hate here, what I hate about this is how I feel like Blair's direction for the party I despise is likely the more successful one. Yeah. You know, the big tent. Uh, yeah. Ronald Reagan wanted a big tent party, but of course now we're like that goddamn commie liberal fucking Reagan who was just making buddies with Gorbachev and over there like. Uh, <laughs> yes, if you want the Republican Party to to be successful and have a Republican president voted in, uh, trying to go far right and, and with that moral ground, it would almost be worth the watch to watch them attempt that to. Like, if you stay, you know, uh, the way uh, Blondie McPherson over there was, um, <laughs> if you if you make that the perfect president pr presidential candidate for her, who is that crazy right conservative guy that, that she wants as her president, I do not believe there is a chance of that person. If they get through the primaries... Fine, but to to win the presidency, I don't think that that's a pipe dream. Now, I want to talk about some things about Blair's apartment. <laughs> Other than it's a mecca to her? Uh, first of all, every picture on the wall is a picture of Blair. I respect it. You know, um, all the pictures in my house are, are pictures of Nick. I was about to say, I was like, <laughs> you and Nick. I was like, Nick's in all of them. But. <laughs> um, second thing, the TV is not centered over the mantle. Oh, the mantle is in right there. Hmm. Why would you do that? <laughs> that now, is now I've just got a feng shui problem with this chick. Yeah, like well, maybe it's. I mean, this is clearly an apartment. Maybe like it's this optical. is not a house. There's no house like this. Yeah, maybe it's some optical, like just the way that. Maybe or maybe it, that's an electric fireplace. You know, saying, that you can move. Yeah, slid around. And just slid it over because. Because you got to put another picture of herself. And she's, up. But like this is a this in the lower right hand cor left hand corner where her Google Home is. Is clearly like a bar. That's why like, this, the is a, this is an apartment. Yes, between the kitchen and it's the not a room. house. I really thought by now she would have like, if she as a Republican, you'd go ahead and invest in property. And yeah, own. right. Yeah. Anyway, all right. That's all I wanted to. Then to keep feeding the man. I don't know why. I just I just wanted to bag on her for that. Anyway. Yeah, the bad feng shui, Blair. It's a weird weird uh, dunk though, Fane. But cool. That wasn't a dunk. I just no, wanted to point uh, it out. Uh, trust me. If if she has to come back. You know, snap back at you. It's this is the what she. I'm sure I'm blocked by now. <laughs> yeah, her her girlfriend, her and the, the Mean Girls Club have have 
started blocking one at a time. So it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. And um, I'm not sure that, you know, going full force religious social conservatism is really the future. John, can you respond? Yeah, I think that the concept of a big tent movement is basically this sort of intra-party democracy that prevents us ultimately from being effective at actually wielding power. And this could date back even to what's referred to as the Reagan coalition, where we tried to unite social conservatives with libertarians, uh, with fiscal conservatives, and then we created something which ultimately- And you controlled the White House for 12 effect, years. It was where fun. we're now on but the back foot big with things such as gender identity. And even now we're trying it you know, with pandering to different minority groups, different interest groups, which will never give us more than 8% of the vote, for example. So- I think that to actually try something different would be to legitimately establish a strong party with the values that we're nominally in support of and actually wielding the power effectively when we, we are given the chance instead of getting into power and then doing nothing and trying to pander to these groups. I want to give them each one thing before we move forward. Away from them. Yeah, Carlin, I'm so interested to hear your perspective because obviously are. this would be a, a question that would pertain to you directly since you admit that you're a liberal and you just registered as a Republican. I mean, give us your thoughts. Okay. I did. Well, the fact of the matter is that MAGA is not a religious movement. MAGA is a political movement. And in order to win elections, you have to win votes. The fact of the matter is that Donald Trump has never cared about gay marriage. It was never something that he was against. Dude hung out at Studio 54. Why would he care? And so I am on the side of winning. Studio 54 is about coke. I'm on the not side fucking, of winning yeah, elections. The fact of the matter is that Donald like, Trump created a big tech strategy like, right, that brought 10 million more dick. people <laughs> to him in 2020 than he did in 2016. And if we go back and look at the history of the Republican Party and when they lost the culture war the first time, Ronald Reagan offered a big tent. He said, everyone is welcome in this big tent. He won two terms. George H.W. Bush followed him. The Republicans were in control for 12 years until what happened? The moral majorities tried to swoop right in and started legislating Christianity. And that is when they lost the culture war. That is when they started losing voters, when they started trying to legislate their religion the first time around. The First Amendment says Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of a religion or the prohibit they're prohibiting the read free exercise yeah, of their of their thereof. So thereof. it protects your there right you to practice your religion as much as it protects my Almost right looks to practice good with that mine. This is not a question of religion. If you want to do whatever you want to do in church, that's fine. Go talk to your church elders. Go talk to your deacons. Exclude anyone you want from your church. But the fact of the matter is that I would really like if the Democrats didn't control everything. And in order for that to happen, we need to win. And that means building the broadest po po possible coalition of voters that we can. Yes. And that's what I think we should do. All right. There so we... far, she actually came out as the most fair. Uh, to, so far, what I've seen is she had like, I don't know. She... You're a Carlin Borisenko Republican. I mean, it. <laughs> as of right now, what, what, what was said right there is like, all right, she has something to say. And she kind of agree, like the whole the whole uh, uh, religious yeah. aspect of it, because that's always the frustrating part of, you know, being an atheist. It's like you you can shout uh, separation of church and state all you fucking want, but your religion helps you get voted in. So, you know, Mitt Romney couldn't get the re the religious uh, aspect right on being a Republican, so he was he was never going to win. Uh, not not against Obama anyway. Um, but what I'm saying is you, that, that aspect of it with the, the whole having religious religion oh. being a, ta a part of the, the party, mm -hmm. it's not separation of church and state at that point, because it's, it's very important, but you also understand that you have to get people that are still sucking Jesus off to oh. vote. Oh, and there's still a lot of Jesus suckers oh. out there. Am I wrong? No, no, you're not. Gotcha, so I, really, bitch. I just, I, I, just right. I really, I, just, I really think religion has, should have nothing to do with our politics. I know, I know. Uh, you're just and the fact that it does. That's the type of Republican me. you are. I'm the worst that, Republican, by the way. You is terrible. <laughs> It's terrible at it. I would um, be a worse Democrat though. So <laughs> yeah, I know you'd be horrible. So like that, I'm stuck in a really shitty area. I, I, wanna, I should be in this debate because I would make just I want to address argument. something Cliff Field brought up and then we're going to read the super chats real quick. Um, Cliff Field said uh, yes, yeah, so OCD is a real thing. I'm saying that specifically the Jaeger cart, it needs straightening out. It's a gateway thing to a messy room as bad as Blair's TV not being centered yeah, on the mantle. I need to so fix the we do need our to, board. We need our to, board has it's slumped. Slumped. 
But it's got metal bars here, so it won't slump anymore. It's at its full slump. I know. We, but we do need like something like that. We need that a Jaeger white. day. We need a Jaeger day where we just we just fix this and shit. drink too much Jaeger. Oh yeah, and we can fix this. Oh my <laughs> god, that's a good idea, man. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so we fill this up with three bottles and drink it all day. And then we'll come up with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll get in the hot tub yeah, <laughs> until we can't just, get out of it. <laughs> yeah. The hot tub time machine is something very that's real a very real. I tell you, that's how that movie got written, is that someone got in a hot tub drunk like, and <laughs> couldn't get out of it. It was a Saturday, a Saturday back when we lived together. And uh, we had just got the hot tub and filled it up. And, it's not a good and story. We're, I know it's not a good story, but... Um, we decided, like, hey, look, there's a lot we want to accomplish today. We both got up early on a Saturday. We were early. Both of us were like, what, you're up too? And we're like, oh, well, it's like 9 a.m. and we're I awake. I was coming back from my girlfriend at the time, now wife. Uh, I was coming back from her house. I was coming back here. I go, hey. I've had anal all I, night. I, I, yeah, I've been, I've been deep digging this bitch. <laughs> no, uh, she's not watching. But, <laughs> but my mom is. Uh, so, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, hey, man, I'm all the way back. I was like, do we have any, any mixer? I think I had vodka. I was like. Do we have any mixer? And oh no, I said, do we have anything to drink there, or, or I'll stop on the way there? And you said, uh, well, we ha all we have is this giant bottle of vodka, like a handle of vodka. Uh, do we have any mixers? And he said, I think orange juice. I went, eh, hey, it's a screwdriver. Let's Great. go. That's the thing I've heard of. And so I get back. It's a crisp, cold morning. It I'm was like, a crisp, cold morning. I came rolling back. I'm like, I'm like, I, I poured a Dixie cup full of uh, a screwdriver. I went, I'm going to go take a dip. I had a great night of backdooring this chick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble there. <laughs> I'm going I'm to go wash my wiener and filter <laughs> of the hot tub. And for some reason, I was like, you're not going to fucking do that shit without me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're getting appetized by yourself. <laughs> so, and then you're like, you know what? That screwdriver looks delicious. And so then you made one. And we, so then it's just two dudes. Just two bros. Two bros. And Hang we're on. like, what we'll do is we it's, want to get things done it was, today. It was like 10.30 in the morning. We're in a crisp hot tub, having a good time, having a couple of trees, and we're talking about what we're going to do we're the gonna, backyard. Uh, yeah, we'll rake the backyard. Uh, we do, you know, we'll just we'll get some of these things off the list that we have and want to do around the house. But what we'll do, and I even took a piece of paper and a pen, and I was like, while we have our morning cocktail we'll, in the hot tub. We'll do a checklist. Boom. We'll that write way out we can stay focused on, on the prize, motherfucker. And then and turn this into a productive day. Yeah, and then and then it ended up uh, just getting Jesus so drunk. Jesus Christ! Where I watched you wallowing and half drowning. <laughs> he, almost, he slid I, out of the chair in the hot tub and then just started wallowing. <laughs> the the bubble the, the the jets were just pushing him around. He's just like, oh god! It's a and, big hot tub. And he couldn't he couldn't stand back up. And then I couldn't help him. I was just like, I was trying to get him to. Next thing I remember is I'm I'm in the shower and I'm at the bottom you of the shower the sh and I I broke my shelf thing. off. In yeah, because I couldn't pull myself up and I dragged all the fucking like shampoo, conditioner, and body wash and all that down on top of me and 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 then I apparently slept there <laughs> until the water went cold. Yeah, until the, which takes a long time because I got, got a forty gallon industrial fucking size. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. And then you apparently were... I blacked out. You blacked out, but you were texting I your wife, your now wife, a a bring her. tequila! Yeah, and then I woke up on the couch, and she's staring at me. She goes, hey, oh, what are you doing here? And she goes, you told me to come here. I, went, and I was like, I did what? And she goes, you told me to come here and bring tequila. I went, I did what? <laughs> I don't even drink and tequila. And I go, if you ever get a text from me, and this, this goes from now on, if you ever get a text from me, I'm like, hey, bring tequila... Call no, cops and is, ambulance. Yes, that is a safe. That's our safe phrase. <laughs> like things have gone wrong. Yes. If I start, we don't know what's happening now. Yeah, I'm not requesting a tequila. No, and like the sun went down, and I was like very confused what happened to that day. <sighs> yeah, because I remember I, found, I I passed out for a few hours. Jesus. And then I came back to, and then you came. I guess I came back downstairs. This is after she got here and got me upstairs. I came back downstairs, and you had moved to the couch. And I came downstairs and I look over and you pop your head up over the top of the couch, just bloodshot eyes. You go, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Like, yeah. What happened to the day, man? It's like dark well, now. Yeah, the sun's going down. I'm like, what happened? We were going to do so much. Anyway, I'm going to read Chris the Ossity's so, anyway, hot yes. tub story. Yeah, but yes, what we will do is we'll have a Jaeger day in the hot tub and we'll figure <laughs> this out. We'll figure out what to do about that. Um, 
Chrissy Alcy said the hot tub was in the back of a row of attached condos. And somehow I went back into the wrong house, passed out in a bikini, sopping wet on some guy's couch. We all have that exact same story. Yeah. If there hadn't been a fence between, there's no telling what would have happened here. Yeah, luckily that they, uh, the neighbors have required us to stay within the, the yard, and they put fences up on either side to keep us contained. Yeah. So yeah, keep us locked in. So anyway, so don't, don't drink in hot. Don't tub, drink people. in hot tubs. Like you have a, like a champagne flute. A champagne fine. flute, and then when you're like, hey, I need a refill, that is the sign that hot tub hour is over. It shouldn't be an hour, it should be 20 minutes, but we were, <laughs> we were in there for six hours. <laughs> At that point, every soft tissue is full of alcohol. Just soaked no. in alcohol. God damn. That was a good day. All right, anyway, let's, let's read the super chat. That's time travel, everyone. All right. Mickey the Vicky has donated five dollars. Hold on. <clears throat> I want to you know, try and nail it this time. I want to modify it a little bit. Okay. Does, Does he want, want to financially support all the babies he saves? saves? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Does she want to financially support like, all Like, because she's very pro-life. Uh, no, she wants them to just go be poors and get a job. Can't, can't get pregnant. You put it in the pooper. There's other answers. There's other solutions is what we're saying. Mm. Skeptic Fighter Jake donated $5. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> let, me, let me try this here. Let me try this here. Fat Pack losing his mind over dumb. Not sure if I needed that qualifier. Conservatives is the best. Thank ra thanks, radical leftist so fame. You're welcome. All right. I don't know what's going on with our fucking uh, interlacing on the video. We have. Like it worked fine. And then one day it just stopped working and now we just can't fucking fix it. I'll spend another couple hours on it next weekend. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what, let's just, let's just move forward here. And I want to hear a little bit more from my friend Blair White. I want to hear a little bit more from Blair White. Um, but, and that's going to become more important as we move on to the next couple clips. Okay. Okay. Um, I like, uh, what's this guy? What's the guy's name? John Doyle. Yeah, I now see. continue to watch John. Uh, well, I can see he's keeping an eye on Blair. <laughs> right there. That is. A wary eye. He is definitely keeping an eye on her. From his construction zone that he's sitting in. Like, like ours too. We live. We are sitting in a construction area, more of a destruction area. But we we put a big piece of paper. Put we're... a big piece of paper back here, so you can't see how constructiony it is. Constructiony. Of course, there's about to be more constructiony. Yeah. Hopefully, if I and if it... the goddamn market will turn around on me. Stop fucking up in the market so we can finish the fucking studio. Uh, yeah. All right. Piece of shit. All right. So anyway, let's just let's just move forward a little bit here, and s let's just listen to it. We're just setting up our. I th we're we're pretty much dialing in where everyone stands here. Having families, uh, that is the future of the party. We started losing when we started compromising. Big tent okay. is a lie. Um, Lauren, it let me is. Jump in there real fast and give give Blair a chance to respond. To Big her. tent is a lie. Sure. I think the concept of more people infiltrating a party isn't necessarily what has happened. I think that the modern left has shown its hand to such an extent that people are just being extremely turned off by it. Um, I, again, being a lifelong Republican voter, I've never- Again, Two votes. she's 26. 
Okay. She's 26, everyone. So when she says lifelong Republican voter, it means Isn't that twice. Three she could have, if like, like I was dead like, ass, like may, she could have voted for Romney. That's what I was like, depending on when. Does she seem like a Romney voter? Maybe, maybe. I mean, back then it was he. Or, was a or, voter. But most people at 18 don't vote, and I just, I'm, I'm calling. Vote. vote for Bush. Jesus Christ. I always vote for Bush. <laughs> and anal. <laughs> and anal. <laughs> had a moment where I entered the party and then had plans to change it from within. I think that every American this. has a right to so you can read the direction that they choose. Um, and I think especially over the next four years of the Biden presidency, there's probably going to be a lot more people who are uh, red-pilled, I guess, is going to be the term, um, and wanting to vote, you know, in the opposite direction of how things ended up in November. And I also would say, you know, Trump got the most votes of any sitting president in history. I think that's true. Right. That's right. And um, I think there's a reason for that. I think what I spoke to earlier was the push towards more secularism. And I think that while social conservatives and religious conservatives still voted Trump because it was the right direction. And like you said, they did make a lot of excuses and compromises on their beliefs. Um, I think Trump really and Trumpism is the future of the party. Now. Now, now this 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 speech she just gave is very important for several reasons. Um, <laughs> yeah. One is yeah. because what you have to realize is all four of these people believe Trumpism is the future. And all four of them have different ideas on what the fuck that means. Uh, two of them, John Doyle and Lauren Witzke, believe that Trump was, was bringing back you know, us toward more religion and... You know, because the evangelicals loved him. We've showed that so many times on this stream. And then you have Blair who thinks somehow he was more secular. Even though not once ever did he say anything against religion or like he sucked up to them. He, we can all say, come on, we know Donald Trump isn't a real Christian. Like... No, but he knew, we he, all knew, know he, knew he needed the vote. But, but, but that's what she's basing her argument on. It's like, come on, we all knew he wasn't really. So that, therefore, more secular. No, you're sort of like turning Trump into whatever it is, the thing you want to believe. Well, that, isn't, that, isn't that what the Trump supporters have been like, though? They've always, they've always. He's they, everything they, to everybody. Yes, to, it, he, he. He plays that card. He fills the the glass. He's water, my man. Yeah, you got you got a bunch of them saying, you know, Jesus is my fucking Lord and Trump is my president. And then the other ones, like Blair saying, you know, like Trump is my president and gay marriage is cool. But I think one of those two arguments is less realistic based on the words that he, he said. He has said yeah. all and said nothing. Uh look. All right. So anyway, Trumpism is the future. They all agree on that. It just seems like they don't know what Trumpism is. It just means Donald Trump wins. That's that's what Trumpism is. So fucking weird. And the one thing I do know about you, even though I do still believe you're fiscally conservative but and and socially liberal, uh, um, is that no matter where you land, Trump isn't the future he, of the party. Yeah, no, he isn't. And by the way, no, he will not win if he runs in 2024. 20, uh, he will not win. But Mark he'll get the words. most votes of an ever of a president who ran after losing for his second term and then came back in and ran again later. He will get the most votes for that because it hasn't happened since... Grover Cleveland. Nope. Grover, no. Are you talking, oh, sorry. Someone that since, lost uh, and then... Roosevelt, I believe. Oh, the, oh, oh, you mean that ran again? Okay, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant... Like, lost the second term okay. and then came back later and won. Or lost. <laughs> I was like, Grover Cleveland's the one that lost and then uh, won the first election, lost second, and then won uh, uh, the third. Is that true? He's the, he's the only non-consecutive president. Is, is that true? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just accept it, and we're going to move forward. Okay. I won't Google that. And the future of success. I'm right. I'm also okay. one of those people right. that 
I'm not a big Grover Cleveland aficionado. You, but I'm not completely convinced that the election was won by Biden by completely um, legitimate means. So we can say it was um, borrowed. I think, what? We can say it was borrowed. You can't say oh, stolen, yeah. but you can okay. say the election was borrowed. <laughs> there she is. Um, there and she so is. even though, yeah, Biden won, I still think Trump is the future of, of the right in general. So. Okay, but she said that Biden cheated. Okay, that's what she just said. She just said, this young lady right here just said Biden cheated and won. And then also said that Trump had the most. But but Biden won. But but he won by cheating. Okay, first off, the only fraudulent shit that they found was almost the exact same amount of fraudulent shit they found on every election. That's right. There's never this giant landslide that everyone thinks. And, And the thing is, most of the ones that have come out and like actually been prosecuted were people cheating for Trump. Like, come on, come on, stop it. Stop it. Anyway, anyway, I know most Republicans have moved on. I'm like, my parents are, or, or my dad was a big Trump supporter, but even he's like, okay, this has gone far enough. Yeah. All right. Um, Trump has now officially, by the way, lost every single lawsuit, every single one uh, as of last week. The final ruling came in. Every single one of them lost. Stop it. Uh, This morning, the lieutenant governor of Georgia was on Meet the Press, where he was like, hey, I am sort of supporting this where we're not going to do this. uh, uh, No excuse absentee voting anymore. We're going to make people go in there. He's like, but also at the same time, Biden won the state of Georgia. I'm sorry. You know, Republican. That, that makes all of them. All of them have come out and yes, said it. Because Trump bu- tried to bully Georgia, and and he, there were even the Georgia guys that oh loved God, Trump that and wanted, phone call wanted to suck off Trump so bad. These Georgia, and, and all of a sudden, they were like being mocked. Like they didn't do their job, and they were like, we literally did our job and made it. Is, is Georgia just not did not go. And Trump. let me tell you right now, the district attorney here in Atlanta is pressing forward with charges based on those things. Not the attorney general, the district attorney. Uh, but the attorney general could get involved, which would mean... Anyway, never mind. <laughs> okay. You know what? We're just going to... Let me, let me, let me, let me move. Let's, let's move forward a little bit. All right. Because... Uh, we set up where, where Blair is. Blair is saying everything she can to appeal to her opposition here. I will say that she she didn't, uh, which was surprising because she didn't tend to be a spicy peanut. Where she really will, uh, if you say something, you know, essentially, uh, Blondie McPherson over there uh, was saying that she that uh, Blair is the conduit for pedophilia. And and Blair didn't like respond. Blair to that. didn't say shit. Didn't say shit. She didn't. She didn't like. She like, didn't try to say no, no, no. Trans people and, yeah, and homosexuals do not are not where pedophilia comes yes, from. Yes, and she and didn't make that I argument like, at all. You know what? I was like, she she essentially got attacked for who she is by, and said nothing by uh, Blondie Mc, Blondie Butt, and then so she said nothing. I was like, oh, she's picking her time, Lord or Worski. trying to make sure that she stays. On on course, I thought that's fair enough. Fair enough. All right, we're gonna move front, and we're gonna. Uh, so I, I I assume that if Blonde Streak a bit too uh, keeps doing what she's doing, she's eventually gonna pry back the, the layer of of uh, Blair's patience, and and oh, you, you so? might get full All Blair right. at some point. All I right, I'm looking forward. But to I will it. say that so far, Blair is trying to stay on point and make just make her points known and ignoring. The shit being said around her. Like, she's not okay. responding to them. She's responding to the questions only. I was like, okay. Fair enough. I guess if, you, if you're trying to, you know, keep your direction, then cool. Okay. Go with it. All right. Now we're going to uh, move to her a little bit more about Carlin Borisenko here. Uh, both of these are setups for our last couple of Carlin, clips. um, as, as that question that he said, right, is like, this is the question a lot of people ask on the traditional right. Is that the right has been defined? Uh, the right has been defined as being 
a conservative party. And that has been traditionally what it has been. Now, you say that you identify as a liberal, but you are a Republican. I would say that's more of a new development in the party. I'd say that it is, uh, you know, related to Trumpism, to MAGA, or as Lauren calls it, the Globo Homo movement, which I will spit out my coffee when she said that. I skip that I, part. I find all this stuff quite hilarious sometimes. Uh, but with you that being what? said, you know, if we're going to take what? the I don't want to skip it now. I don't want to skip right? it now. And we're going to bring in all of We're going to. I don't want to skip that part now. <laughs> you, you don't? Really? No, okay, John, because it's just fun. I think that's correct in that Trump is the future of the Republican Party. But what's interesting about that yeah, 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 um, is yeah, that yeah, during yeah. his the first campaign up. and even his second campaign, he really didn't touch on LGBT issues that much. I mean, you know, he, he held up the flag, I think, at a few events. At Speak this a little bit to you, Carlin, um, as, as that question that he said, right, is like this is oh, the question wait. a lot of people ask on the traditional right. Oh, is it I skipped. I skipped way over this already. Um, and I think it was here excuses for him his globo homo initiative uh ended up losing <laughs> him so good dude hold on hold on hold on do. we are the base of this party we make up a huge portion of this party a way bigger portion than the liberal libertarian sector of the party no matter how much they want to tell you um you know so him making those compromises is probably a big part of why we lost you know we lost the house in 2018, you know, in 2017, we had the House, the uh, the executive branch and the Senate, and we still failed uh, on conservative issues. They refused to stand up for life. You know, they still passed a budget that um, actually made us force Christian taxpayers to fund Planned Parenthood. You know, so every vote lost on social conservative uh, consult social conservatism is, you know, we are significantly more. We are the party that was established in traditional marriage. So I'm curious when the liberals and the transgenders decided that it was their duty to come and infiltrate our party to make it successful because we were doing just fine. Um, we started actually losing votes when we started pandering. Uh, we lost a significant amount of our base uh, enough to make an effect and make a dent into uh, the electorate by compromising our values. The only way forward is to stay true to our values that we've always been and established on and win with them. You know, it's the weakness. People value strength over anything else. And when we started showing weakness and compromise, that's when we started losing. Um, and I don't think that is something that we should continue. I think that we should remain the party of Jesus Christ, the party of life, the party that celebrates family and tr makes it as easy as possible for Americans to get married and have children. Why would I celebrate a lifestyle that uh, people can't reproduce. You know, you can't reproduce. You just can't. Um, you know, Why so having families, have any of it? Uh, that is the future of the party. We started losing when we started compromising. Big Ten okay. is a lie. Um, Lauren, it let me is, jump in there real fast and give, give Blair a chance. All right, to yeah, okay, we got to this point. All okay. Right. Uh, big, big Ten's a lie. Big Ten's a lie, and I, I look, I, somehow I missed the Globo Homo Again, again, I don't know how you I did were right that. on it, but yes, we saw her say global homo. But so, it. so that's anyway. That gives you a little context that when he, when uh, I, I I get it. She's a Nazi. I'm fine. Let's let's move on. That's more of a new development in the party. I'd say that it is uh you know related to Trumpism, to MAGA, or as Lauren calls it, the global homo movement. Which I will spit out my coffee when she said that. <laughs> I I find all this stuff quite hilarious sometimes. Uh, but with that being said, you know, if we're going to take the Big Tent Party <laughs> no, uh, approach, no one right, else is we're going to no bring in all just these people that are uh, of different uh, viewpoints like yourself, what what is this conservative party conserving and how is it any different than, let's just say, being a liberal party from 10 years ago? Well, right now, it's not conserving anything because they don't have any power because they lost elections. But I do want to uh, speak to John's point specifically in that he used the magic word, which is pandering. The left panders to the LGBT movement. Trump did advocate for LGBT policies. He did so by appointing the first openly gay member of the cabinet, which... That's not a fucking policy. No. She, she, look. She's got to say what she's got to say. It, it, this is the same thing we watched in the presidential debates. You can ask any question you want. Their answer is not going to be to that question. Their answer is going to be to what they're trying to say. Yeah. So anyway, Carlin has to to beef up her conservative bona fides here. Yeah. She's got to get them uh, paychecks in. So 
which the left likes to forget about all the time. He did support this community. He just didn't do it in a way that was pandering. But again, like I, I'm a liberal because I believe in individual liberty, individual freedom. I'm very concerned with preserving specifically our First Amendment values and and all the amendments specifically. But the First Amendment is really my jam, which all again all does not I, 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 allow yeah, I love all amendments. to legislate based on one religion's amendments. specific <laughs> values. But if we want to talk about religion, we can talk about uh, a verse from the Bible, which is 1 uh. Timothy 2, verses 1 through 2, which says, I urge then, first of all, the petitions, prayers, and sessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and for those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Oh, shut the fuck up. All right, that's all I can take. Um, so what she's going to do there is try to do that thing we do as as liberals and leftists when when Christians start being assholes. Yeah, and we're like, well, the Bible says you shouldn't be like that. Well, it doesn't work. Yeah, well, I mean, right. When you try to use their book, they look, they, they've been doing this for years. They, they, they will ignore what you yeah, have to no, say I and skate the issue with a, uh, something else. And Okay, but now let's get into the meat of it real quick and we'll, so we can wrap this shit up. Let's wrap this shit up. Let's wrap it up. We're, we're going to skip a lot of stuff. Um, this debate, I mean, it's you've already... Hour, it's a 51 minutes. You've long. already heard most of what this is about. And you know the characters and what their positions are. Yep. But now let's... Let's go into the cuckoldry. There's some cuckoldry? <laughs> there clearly is, buddy. Oh. Do you want to define the cuckoldry? Like, it, it, it's, it's it a... Cucks! These motherfuckers are being cucks, and you're about to see them get cucked. Okay, are we using <laughs> it like, like... We're using like, it like the right uses like, it against us. Like a, like a true cuck? No, no, or nobody's, like, just, like, fucking anybody's no, wife okay, in front of that's, them. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> right. Is this, like, cuckle, like, for real? Or, like, No, just, in the... Just Free, calling, just, yeah. okay, just the name calling. It's like if, if you know, at your bro's house and he calls you a faggot, he's not calling you gay, he's just saying, like, you're a pussy. <laughs> what was it? We were on Drunken Peasants last night, and we had Trumpster Bob on yeah. with the butthole challenge. It was, like, the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> the gayest thing you've ever heard. But the, what the, it... The comic? He wants to see your at butthole yes. to make sure you're not gay. And he'll show you his butthole. He'll show you his butthole. So he wants a butthole competition between like, you and him. You show each other your butthole. And he can tell. We need to have him on here. Like, you guys will love him. If yeah. you didn't see us he, on Drunken Peasants last night. Yes, he wants He wants Like, to in look, the, like, third hour, I think. He wants to compare to buttholes with other guys so he can prove that other guys are gay uh, because they have a beaten up butthole. And the, the, the challenge is that he, they, he shows his butthole, you show your butthole. And, they have the, and that's how you know that you, nobody you, there is gay. Yeah, and it's like the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and we're two men that just rubbed their balls together, and I'm still like, I don't. No, so like, that is way gayer, Trumpster Bob. Yeah, that's the all we did was rub our junk together for a hundred bucks. Yeah, thanks, catnips. But yeah, you know, um. <laughs> but for money. <laughs> like I don't, I don't just ball rub for nothing. <laughs> all right. So anyway. <laughs> Let's just, let's just wrap this. Let's just, here, watch this. I think it's really funny that she's quoting scripture as a liberal, <laughs> thinking that she can use it against us as Christians. Um, you know, it's like, oh, it doesn't apply to me, but maybe it'll work on you. And guess what? It doesn't work. Playing on our Christian compassion and making us be tolerant and acceptive of all this diversity, you know what that's left us with? Pet transgender pedophiles on Twitter saying that your daughter asked for it. Your little girl isn't actually a princess. She asked for it when I abuse her. That is where we're at. So you're throwing scripture at me as a liberal is not going to work. You cannot play the Christian wow. compassion card oh. on us anymore. We are standing. We are taking a stand for social <laughs> social conservatism because it matters. Social issues matter. And using God's word and manipulating it to try to get Christians to agree with you is absolutely subversive. And that's what we're struggling with in our party is subverters. You know, how many kids saw Blair White, you know, giving one of her videos? You know, I know Trump is a cash cow. I know people love to talk about him to get their popularity. But how many children saw her and looked at her and said, you know what? She looks really good. I could do that too. And started transitioning. This is about the children. We, they are coming for our kids, and we are at a point now where we're going to have to take a stand. Will the and party go kids. the way of the LGBTQ? <laughs> what? 
Will the party, you know, we already have a transgender this gets man, better. woman, it, I don't know, in California running the Federation for Republican Women. You know, are we going to let this stand or are we going to choose to stay with the nuclear family and support the nuclear family? Because from what I've seen from these LGBTQ activists, such as R Richard Grinnell, who's an absolute pervert, he refuses to stand up for transgenders in the military, against transgenders in the military. He refuses to stand and make a public statement that, hey, men shouldn't be in women's bathrooms. That's because they're bought, sold, and paid for by these LGBT donors who have seen an opportunity. Trump was a cash cow. He was. If you talk about him and if you are... Um, you know, had a different look or whatever, people would throw themselves at you because it's like, oh, look how inclusive we are, but we're sacrificing everything. And when it comes down to it, I choose the life, preserving the life of little children who are 15% of them are growing up identifying as LGBTQ um, and transgender. Uh, and we should not be giving a spotlight to, or a platform to people who operate in a lifestyle where 40% of them end up attempting suicide, you know, eventually, uh, you know, one in four. I, I, all right, calm down, fridge tips. Like, <laughs> like she's saying a lot, dude. God damn. She's saying the quiet part out loud. Don't think that she's not saying what millions want to say, but they're like, want to say, but they don't have the fucking balls. But some of them do have balls. I mean, they just chuck them back. <laughs> right? You know, one of this 40% that wants to kill themselves. <laughs> yes, because the of people like you, Blondie McNuts. Yes, that's what she doesn't put together. Right. But anyway, she's like, Blair's not going to sit and take this shit, right? Like there's you said, no, there's no way. Blair that. White is coming. Blair wouldn't take this shit from me. Well, look, she could dunk on you. She dunk you, see? She like this tall. And she thick. <laughs> she hit thick. All right. <laughs> yeah, seriously, she comes up with, like my nipples. She had no choice. With heels on. She had no choice, but she's like, you know, I, I'd be better off as a chick. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> anyway, that was a lot. Yeah, I, look, to me, I feel like she just rolled back the clock a lot. And I was like, wow, you went all the way back. Like, you just unraveled conservatism to, to that. The, the Republican Party has lost years of progression. Like, I understand, I understand that the left is always pulling and trying to progress us to the future. And the Republican Party is like, hey, let's chill, 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 chill. Let's not go so fast. Calm everything down. And you need that pull and push uh, to, to kind of move us forward. But it always, but it not always getting crazy. goes forward. Yes, it's got, it has to move forward. It has we to. have to. Otherwise, we'd still be riding horses right now because cars are bad. <sighs> so my, my horse will run all day, and all he needs is oats. By oats, you mean octane? Um, so she is, de like, deconstructing uh, the, whole, the whole Republican side, of, or the conservative side of the Republican Party to the point that I'm like, is she a for realsy or is she saying this shit? All right, let's find out in our next part. Our children growing up struggling with LGBTQ <laughs> gender dysphoria end up with depression, drug abuse. I think it's 80% yeah, of men have a higher risk of HIV. You know, why would I support that yep. lifestyle? Um, I do. Why would I even fast. make excuses for that lifestyle? Or, or, I mean, I mean, Blair attempts to respond to your statements real fast. Because Let I know Blair, Blair talk. Here she comes. Out. Come on, um, Blair. Put it down. Lay it down. On the, on the statement of Lauren said, Lauren is talking about, you know, the subversion in the Come party. On, the idea that you're, that you're talking about well, you, Blair. Come on. Before I, um, you know, I just want to specifically address what Lauren said about children, maybe watching my YouTube videos and thinking that, they can be like me or transition or whatever. I don't really know how much you know about me, but I'm probably the most vocal anti-children transitioning person on the internet. It's what I'm, right. almost, I, it's, well, I, I, I let you, you speak. The best thing you can do for us is I, grow out your mustache and tell people not to live like you. That is the best thing that you can do to help us. That's what that chick should be doing. <laughs> that chick should say, hey, don't live like me. 
I'm a hateful motherfucker. <laughs> Grow out your mustache and tell people not to live like you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is one of the most vile things I've ever heard. I, you know, to, to be Blair, it's like at this point, I'm like, do, do I even continue? Like, did, like at this point, no, this is the Blair White who doesn't take any fucking shit. Yeah, but like, depends on the day. Maybe, maybe. She no, it, I don't know if it depends on the day. I think it depends on <laughs> how bad she wants to be a part of the of the fucking right wing conservative of, of, movement of the grift. Vocal anti children transitioning person on the internet. It's what I'm. Right. It's well, I, I let I let you. you speak. The best thing you can do for us is I, grow out your mustache and tell people not to live like you. That is the best thing that you can do to help us. Because Christ you are not love, hoping. Christ love, wafting off Lauren, Christ love. Go at it, guys. <laughs> I think actually okay. to close on the biblical point, um, I like the first I thing I did want to say is the vindication I would, I would of Lauren. Yeah. She's like, I didn't finish. And the fact I, I literally said, I didn't finish. Who is personally a liberal and ideologically a liberal. I started, but she's going to shut up and let John talk over. Republicans. And so I think that really she's speaks the only one to how polite. far our party has deviated in the last 50 years to where Which now is not who we know. Are personally liberal. She will, she will get in your grill socket. Yeah. Over nothing. Well, you, you, I said if you liked her new content, which was like makeup tutorials and, and fucking like fun shopping videos with fucking and shopping uh, hauls with Joey. Yeah, like I said if you like her new content, you're probably gay. Oh. It was queer eye. It was she was doing queer eye and shit at the time and she got she jumped up my fucking ass. And then what she did is she ran right back to the conservative party again and started doing Trump videos. Yep. Well, at least you snapped her out of it like that. I did snap her out of it. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know if I don't know if you should be taking credit for it though. I'm taking credit for it because you're kind of like, wow, why did I do that? Why did I? Why did snap I her that? back? Yeah, like she just finally, let her go do her yeah, fucking. Yeah, let her disappear into the makeup tutorial category and just move on. Her and my ex girlfriend, they would do shopping videos and and what's her name? Uh, your ex wife? No, or ex girlfriend? Yeah, the YouTuber from L.A. Blakely. No, Who are you talking not about? really. Oh, in, in, oh, you're... in this universe. Oh, this universe. Um, we made a video about her and her. She doesn't live in LA. She does. And her boyfriend wore the headdress right there. No, she doesn't live in LA, dude. She... Yes. Jacqueline? She... Jacqueline Glenn lives in LA. Oh. Ha always. Oh, she just moved to Nashville. Oh! Okay, <laughs> Got him! Uh, got him! You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You built right into it. Pour See, some like, shots. We need some why, shots. I'm gonna go look at the chat. This is why. This is why we can't. This is why we can't have. Uh, we shouldn't be doing things. Uh, yeah, anything. <laughs> this is why we can't have anything. We have nothing. Kobe. Wow! It went to another room. Like you were so far off. <laughs> I've never been that far off before. I don't think. Like that was. <sighs> yeah, Cliff Field said, I didn't think I'd feel sorry for Blair anytime soon. I feel sorry for Blair. I feel sorry that she wants to join, be a part of this movement, and be a part of this group. That's what, but they I mean, will I mean, never I mean, accept her. But, but then again, that, that and was... And they will say shit like this to her face. This is what, And she'll just nom, 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 eat it. This is what happened. This is when she, first, when she was... When she first popped, when she started getting the popularity. And we saw her when she hit 300,000. We we're like, holy shit, and Blair's blowing up. You know, and she kept moving. I was like, the, the reason they're moving was not only because she was trans, but she was Republican. And it was like, ooh, that's interesting. That must be a weird dynamic, you know, to, to be trans and Republican. Because that you, we all know that the conservatives don't like you. And they don't like you being in their party. And... And yet, yeah, you're probably fiscally conservative, but you're. Is it worth it? You're socially liberal, and so that way, is you're, it that's, worth it? That's where you're. you're is learning. it worth it? And the thing is, when they say, "Well, like may, people may watch your videos and then think, hey, I she's pretty, I could transition like her,' because that's who I feel like I am inside. You feel like what? a pretty, pretty, pretty woman. I wish I, I, I was prettier when I was younger, but I used you to. Could have, you could have transitioned earlier, and you should have done it then. I should have done it then. Because now, right now when you do it, you're going to look like, uh, ma'am, it's ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. You're going to be yelling at a guy at GameStop. <laughs> and yes. GME to the moon. Did you now, see the, did you see the, uh, the Mr. Potato Head meme? And they, hey, they, what the fuck? 
But we're, we only had one enough. We're going to get five shots out of one Red Bull can. No. Yeah, it's true. No, I mean, yes, but no. No, <laughs> you're not doing that. Go get another weapon. Oh, you need the ableist to go? No. You are an ableist. You poured yourself a fucking giant to frosty looking shot. Hey. Look at it frosting over. Hey, look. Hey, look. look how delicious it looks. Hey, look. I can jump on. I can jump on. I can't jump, but I can stand up. Come here. <laughs> I gotta go pick up all the garbage you're throwing around the studio. Look, what I'm saying here is it's hard not to feel bad for Blair here. Even though still... Blair has been a terrible fucking person. She's been a terrible person to not just me, but to us and, and our all that group of friends. Remember, remember uh, VidCon 2018 when she came in with that film crew oh, that and just blew everybody off because she's about... being filmed. It's she... going to be a documentary about yeah. her. Yeah, she needed she needed to. Which show, never came out. But... Show show that uh, she can get plenty of attention. Yeah, and look look like at my... she Jake Paul. Yeah, she's like look like... at all my minions. Look at all my minions. All right, we got to go, girlfriend. Like I think she thought she was going to be Jeffrey Star. And it didn't. It didn't roll that yes, way. That's right. Um, but the thing is, and she was like one degree away from from Jeffrey Star. She ended up being friends with Shane Dawson. And yep. I was like, you you could have decided to go that way. That's when she started the makeup tour. I was like, she's just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go be a billionaire instead. And then she got yoked back in by somebody. Yoked back <laughs> in to being the to the, do a political commentary. And then all of a sudden, it was like Shh, she's out. And the thing is. The thing is, I feel like because of this, maybe I should have gone easier on Shoe on Head the other day. Because I feel like what Shoe on Head was trying to say, even though I hated her meme, that's what I was mad about was the meme she used. But because it was like, lefties are mean, but the Nazis explained the science to me. But in that, what was she, I think she was trying to say was like, look, it's okay for you to not like the you know, to be upset about the Dr. Seuss thing or the Mr. Potato Head thing or the culture war stuff. We have a misunderstanding and not like mad about woke, the misunderstanding. But still want to have universal health care for people and stuff. And so you can still be on the left and not like this other shit. To me, it also sounded like this is how the fucking... It started with the uh, anti-SJW movement, the skeptic community... Because that's how I got drawn in. I was like, hey, I can still be a leftist. I can still be a liberal. And criticize. Well, I mean, and I was criticizing the, the I, right, right now I'm doing it. I criticize the right. And I are Republican. I know. So well, it, I lost myself. I lost myself a little bit. I, I fell too far into it. I got so caught up in culture war shit yes. that I didn't realize, like, hey, healthcare, please. Also, healthcare, though. Damn. All right. Cheers, everybody. This is a tough one. Anyway, I think maybe maybe the point she was trying to make was people like Blair. It's okay that you don't like the woke stuff, but you still might like healthcare for poor people. And you still might like some wealth equality. You still might want to roll back to where CEOs made 30 times what the average worker makes instead of 200 times. You still might think those things are cool and not like the woke thing, and you'd still be welcome on the left. And some of us are judgmental assholes who will jump up your shit. And so maybe it's time, Blair, Blair, what's most important to you? I feel like by looking at you, that your trans status is important to you. Is it so important you're willing to just take to the eat abuse. this shit? Yeah, you're you're just fed up a shit pile. So that what? So that you could say fuck healthcare for the poor? Is that what's so important to you? You're willing to eat this giant fucking heap of fucking dung. I don't get it. If 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 the trans thing if the LGBT community, which you are the, you, hmm, choose your word. I'm not even. Sh you're at least the T. <laughs> I'll guarantee the T. <laughs> I would like picture proof. But is is your relationship with Joey less important? Less important than taking money from the poor? Than fucking taxes? Is that what you're saying, Blair? 
Is it? Are, are you like literally trying to like reach out to talk to her right now? Yeah, somebody clip this and clip tweet this it and at her. Because <laughs> you probably can't send it to her. I can't. She won't watch that. Yeah. But fuck, man. Fuck. What's important to you? Look, she's probably been getting this shit since this came out. That it, it like, she got, she just got railroaded uh, and then talked over and then. Oh, man. Kiss my Asperger. She said sunk cost fallacy. Huh? That makes sense. The sunk cost fallacy. Oh. It's it's something that gets betters, you know, or, or gamblers. You know, like, right. you're like, man, this I'll table is going to land black. It's got to eventually get hot. There's no way. It's it got to get hot for me it if I just stay. keep. Wait for the next shooter. Doubling run. down. Right. The, the face cards are going to show up. I've right. invested so much in this position. It's, yeah, sl playing a slot it's, machine. It's It's got to hit a jackpot eventually. I'm probably closer to the jackpot now than I was when I started. So I might as well just hodl and, and wait wait for this to, to pay out. Anyway. Oh, you're asking about Lauren? Yes, Lauren used to be a drug addict. Oh, um, she was probably so cool back then. Yeah, but dude, that was when I wish I'd have met Lauren. All right, ten Lauren, minutes ago. Lauren takes it in the butt. <laughs> oh boy, Addy Monster donated one dollar. Try to keep it conservative. And says, "I wonder why we have a high rate of suicide. Could it be because we just want to be ourselves, and people like Lauren are out here wanting that, to yes. legislate us out of existence? Yes, absolutely. That's where it comes. You know, whether you're like they kill the, the trans are killing there's, themselves. There's the stupid the, fucking there's the gender degenerates, the gender dysphoria of you know feeling like you're in the wrong car. <coughs> you know, like I'm in a Pinto, but I feel like I should be in this Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, like. Like Definitely. I feel very Lamborghini, but I am <laughs> rocking a Pinto. And then Pinto you finally, with this fucking dog. You finally <laughs> like, say, "Look, I know thing. I can start doing swapping, and eventually make this a Lamborghini." Yes, it's close to a Lamborghini. And then I can feel like what I feel I can, inside is reflected. So on when my I outside. pull out of the garage, I feel like a Lamborghini. And then there's then there's those uh, the 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 OG Lamborghini drivers. You're not a real Lamborghini. Get the fuck off the street. Put that kid car back in the garage. Get back in there. We don't want that at our car shows. You're a Fiero. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of shit. Sorry, that is a terrible fucking analogy. Well, I think, I think I'm sorry to to trans people in the audience. I'm, so, I'm sorry for that analogy. The Lamborghinis out there. We are terrible. Uh, but I'm hoping you get the point. But well, that's what I'm saying. Is that you getting past the dysphoria part, and then also being just being immediately called a pedophile? Like that had nothing to do with touching kids. I I didn't what I saw in the mirror didn't match with who I was. You know what I'm saying? Right. And a lot of people were like, "Okay, you're not trans. You're just gay." It's not it. <laughs> it's not the same it's not thing. It. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. When you're fantasizing as a cis Male, yeah. Straight white male. Hopefully, you're Mostly. you're fantasizing about having sex with a I mean, lady. I opened the street with a scissor, so let's a good. Mostly cis. Mostly cis. <laughs> uh, you're you're you probably fantasize if you're going through a highlight reel in your head or whatever. You you got no internet connection, but you got a, a warm shower, right? <laughs> and you want to turn some spunk into wow. into leg glue. Why hot, <laughs> wow! Why, why does hot water turn spunk into like this white glue? It just sticks to your leg hair. I don't understand. Why are you it's fucking science. coming in the bathtub still? You're an adult. Not in the bathtub, in the shower. Like, but sometimes sure. like you're, thinking, you're trying to get the white water down the drain, <laughs> but then you're drying off, and then you see these little white boogers stuck to your leg hair. You're like, oh no! 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 no. You broke me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow. Wow. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what I was going to say. I'm so glad that we cover these sensitive topics. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is. We're the best. A gay person's fantasy would be just, they'd still picture themselves. Yes. In a gay fantasy with, yes. with who, who they long for, right? Yes, yes, that makes sense. A trans person 
fantasizes not themselves. No, being the, the opposite yes. sex or another yes. sex they or something. They picture themselves in a di- like yeah. in a different way. So like if you start to see that, like oh, it's not just that they oh they just they're just gay. It's not that. It's that they literally are like I don't identify with the body, but like in my fantasy, I'm this other body. And that's how it has to play. That's out. what makes me happy. And that's where. And it's, it's not a kink. Also, it's not. So it had nothing to do with pedophilia. It, it literally has to do with I have this different idea of myself than what. Look, I identify as a skinnier guy. All right. right? Anyway, your so analogy, like, your analogy you just made. Which I'm one? gonna buy, I'm gonna steal a joke from Catnips. Oh, you can't oh. do it if you if you credit them first, right? Yeah. Don't ever credit them. That's the script of Cars Four. <laughs> I think it's a hit. I'm with you. Well, you told me you didn't like the car one, so I was like, I'm back right. in. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I just, I mean, I mean, I just like to fuck chicks, though. So I want to make sure. <laughs> I'm really into pussy sex. I really like the pussy sex. I like pussy sex. <laughs> with my big dick. Let's rub our dicks together. Somebody give us sixty nine dollars. I want to put my, I want to put my dick on this man. Um. But when I when we're scissoring, I'm very aware that I'm me. Yes, I am also very aware that you're me, which I call no joy. <laughs> That's a, like I, I I was being this is uh, years and years ago. I was like maybe 20, barely twenty one, and I was being hit on uh, by this guy, and he goes, "Are you gay?" And I went, "Nope." He goes, "How do you know if you haven't tried?" And I was like, "Good question." Just never, never even sparked. But now, I know it's not. Bad. <laughs> now, now I've tried enough. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, look, for I've, money. I've, if money doesn't yeah, get me like, a if boner, money, if money doesn't put it in me, <laughs> nothing will, my man. Sorry, sorry. Like, like God, because I want when people call us gay, I'm like, oh, that'd be so awesome. Like, if we Woo. were gay, we'd be fucking right now. God, all right, all right it'd be awesome. That's, that's, oh, our weekends will be free. We won't have to like walk a little rug rat that just screams at you all day. <laughs> what the fuck was her problem today, man? <laughs> just mad. Just lit. Went, I don't know if it's daylight savings. And it, just, <laughs> it fucked up her chakras. God damn it. She was just a real cunt today. <laughs> and I'm fucking mad. <laughs> she locked it up, though. Like, she finally she locked, locked it, it the she fuck had, up. We had guests over. Oh, so I found out that... Uh, 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 play uh, play dates, which I was thought like, oh, that's so stupid. I don't want to have people come over the house. <laughs> play dates, dumb. I found what play dates are it's just you just get to drink. Wow, <laughs> the just, adults drink. You get just split. You get to split the attention on the kid. Like, hey, I'm tired of watching my kid by myself because I can't like get really hammered. But like, if we're both slightly hammered, we can just watch the kids and then like you can catch my kid fucking up and then I catch your kid. God it's cool. It. So that way we fix it. That's play date. It's just getting drunk together. Wow. Right, right. What well, I'm fixing it. It's time for us to go through the super chats and examine our. No, he only put sixty nine. It wasn't sixty nine. No, sixty nine counts. You can't fucking lawyer that shit. I think. I, <laughs> All right, look, look. Let's just start at the top. Scott Gordon donated three dollars and said nothing. That is that's who the we want to talk about. Ideal situation. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott Gordon. You can come over and watch my kid while I pass out drunk. <laughs> and by the way, she's a handful. Real spicy peanut. Addy Monster donated one dollar. One dollar. As a mechanic and trans woman, the Fiero kit car analogy was fucking hilarious and comfortable, uncomfortably spot on. All right, put it up here. Nice, man. You get another ch- set of cheers, dude. I, you know what? I know. The Fiero kit car Addy analogy. Addy got it. All right, I'm in. I'm in. I'm back in. It's because the the Fiero. Is Sometimes a, is I a don't base. know. The the wheels. We'll I'm still through. learning. And so thank you for your wisdom. Now I'm going to say something about a Fiero kit car on Twitter and be banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to start. Why with, you didn't let me finish? It's going to be, it's going to be one of those things where people are like, if you ever call me a kit car, I swear to fucking God. Like, I swear to fucking God. Well, like, I can't wait. Like, I Fox, am a fucking Lamborghini. Where, where Fox News starts calling trans people kit cars. I'm like, oh man, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have started. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have totally wandered off the path. <laughs> and made a horrible grift for people. <laughs> horrible. Horrible. All right, Mickey the Figgy donated uh, $2 and said, Ooh, Pat, you dirty bird, I know what that was about. 
What was it about? That was about you coming on your leg hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some of us have a smaller dick and we can't get it out past the knees. I can't get you got the projection. Like yours, yours could dribble down the fucking wall and add to the grout. I can't I do that. I leave that outside the shower. All right, anyway. Is that why your phone's so sticky in there, dude? <laughs> I was like, man, this guy put like grip tape on his bathroom floor. This is crazy. It's very dangerous. <sighs> it starts off slippery and then becomes sticky. It's a crazy time. Cut I'll tell nips. You, it's, like, it's look, cum is like a, 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 a cure all. It's the best thing ever. Big Catnips, um, who had a very hilarious joke about cars, the plot to Cars Four, <laughs> has now betrayed us. Fuck, am I blown up? Are you blown up? Are you popular yeah. again? I don't like you. I am. Hold on. God, let me see who's telling me to shut the fuck up. They're not telling me that I'm gay again, are they? No, damn it. Who is it? It's people watching. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it's y'all. Who fault. I know. It's your, In real life. It's your fault for watching, by the way. Okay, Catnips has donated $69. <laughs> Thank you for the booers out there who understand our pain. Understand what this is this does to us. Well, I, I this the only thing I, I I can do now is just hike up my pants. Do you know we're not wearing pants? You are not wearing pants. I thought I told you I told you spring has sprung. I, sp I could smell the hot spunk trees. <laughs> now I want to see your hot spunk tree. Come here, baby. Stop, stop. Don't touch my thigh like that. Don't touch my thigh like that. What's wrong? Are you ticklish? No, stop, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see where I'm ticklish? Give me your hand. <laughs> God damn it. All right. <laughs> Turn your chair. That's the problem is, you, like, you're trying to, like, you're trying to side settle it. And it's okay, just okay. Your dick harder into mine. This is a social contract. That when you donate $69 or more, that's all this is, is a fucking sex work transaction. Sex work is real work, people. Sex work is real work. He's doing this uh, damn near an amputee. Yeah. I had to squeeze my big fat broken foot into a boot. Uh, a regular boot. Now, Mickey the Vicky, j j jacuzzi sex equal, does not equal best sex. It does not. No. We fucked in there. It was horrible. No. No. No, we remember we blacked out. <laughs> remember the story how he told it? <laughs> God damn it. Damn it. Alright, uh, get this one. All right. Get my get my Oh god. My, no! No, see what God no! 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 Don't look at me! God, it's all, all over. Right. It's all over me! <laughs> <laughs> I hope people don't come here for like any any like you know like people take this important like, okay. social commentary. Yeah, if you look at the guy like they're trying to hold a, a decent stream, and I'm like, don't come here for that, guys. That's not. I consider it as a comedy show first. <laughs> oh man! Oh comedy! It felt it, it felt very comedy, and you can comment at me anytime. <laughs> You missed the common me joke. God damn it. Give me your fucking phone. I'll no. I want to talk to them. No. No. Everybody just be cool. We're it? not doing this anymore. Isn't... We're not doing this. We're... We are not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> doing it anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Addy Monster Donuts. One dollar. Says... You guys ever scissor naked, or are you afraid your balls uh, will het sec stu uh, will het stuck to get? Oh, that's it. Get okay. I was like, I was like, het. I was like, mm. she and H are right beside each other. I get it now. I I I head it now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get stuck to get each other's buttholes. Yeah, I'll look. Whoa, I will. Wait, whoa. I will. I will. Whoa. I'll nut fuck this guy right now. No, hey, stop, everyone. Stop. This, this stream has gotten off the fair. fucking rails. I sat down one time. It was a real hot summer. I sat down one time in really loose shorts and I sat on my own balls. I was like, oh. And I hoop. And I hoop. And I hoop. 
I like, almost nut fucked myself. I, was like, I almost popped a ball in my butt all that was a that was a fun day. Oh man, I still haven't set up the Fat Pat Learns a meme. That was one of my favorite Fat Pat Learns a meme. Even though it was a I learned a meme, we still got to play your fucking Yeah, the NIO. Yeah. Yeah. Right, thank you. I that saw was it. the one you taught me. The one. Was it? <laughs> yes. And I oop. I did know that one first, didn't you I? You did know that one first, yes. No, you, you know that one first. Oh, did I? Which one did I teach you? Uh, I taught you something else. You did teach me something. I thought it was that one. Maybe but most of the time, you learned, I learned the memes. <sighs> yes, yes. You learned the memes. Just... Uh... <sighs> All right. Barry Cab Super Chat at $5. Thanks, buddy. No, you're says, not going to take him here in a second. How come this is the only social contract you uphold? Where's the video? Stop it! We do have to technically make a video, and I'm writing some ideas down. We are. I'm, I'm, I'm this close to just doing bed sketty because I'm like, fuck it. I love the bed sketty. Bed sketty was just so dumb. And bed I, sketty. And that, that was before DoorDash, dude. I know. Like, we wrote that script before DoorDash, before yeah. Uber Eats, before any of that shit was real. I know. No, I'm really we wrote a that. skit called Bed Sketty. <laughs> Bedsketty.com. And every time, every time we, like, my wife. We and, still laugh over bed sketty. My, my wife and I, when we have, like, leftover sketty, I just go, ooh, bed sketty. <laughs> I'll, I'll have stairs, put the ball of sketty on my just belly. Just rest it on my belly. I just, she goes, what are you doing? I'm like, bed sketty. Bed sketty. <laughs> like, She's like, that's not a thing you guys ever did. Nobody gets that joke. <laughs> but we know how good it would be. It would be a really. Because we both had the exact really same funny. imagery. We knew exactly what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, mm -hmm. fuck. Fuck! Fuck! This got off the rails. This wasn't about us. So close to Bezgay, though, dude. Shit! Shit! No! We're done with this. We're done. We're done. I had more... There's more clips that this goes on, and I just don't think we wow. need to get there. I think we... The, don't... Don't test me. Wow. I think we got... The whole point there. I think we got it out. And I'm the one saying this. It's usually you're like, okay, enough. Yeah. There's okay, no need I to go through that. First There's that another case. 20 minutes of that fucking nightmare. But it starts to just be like, they let uh, Blondie McHates the Jews just <laughs> ra uh, ramble off anything she wants. <laughs> she was terrible. She's a terrible and I'm like, person. I, honestly, even if I was in that, I'm like, a okay. terrible person. I'm like, okay, if this is the person that you put on the panel with me, and this is how she feels. I'm like, I just let her talk and be like, let's, I'm just going to like pull sound clips out of this later because this bitch is crazy. And going straight. And like the thing is, is like trying to be fair and balanced when you have something that's just a nut job. Oh, hey. Looks like kind of Mickey the Ficky subscribed to our Patreon. I forgot yeah. to mention that the other day. You did? Yep. Oh, no. Addy Monster donated $1. Oh, yeah, before I forget, hey, Lauren, ask your doctor if these hands are right for you. Side effects include loosened teeth and getting knocked the fuck out. All right, fair enough. I throw these hands. <laughs> Sheesh. I, I can't, you know what, I, I wanted if to go through that throw stuff. throw shade, I'll throw these hands. I wanted to go through that stuff, and I wanted to show everybody because I thought Blair White I just, got me, abused. She never comes back I and feel, pushes back. She just okay, takes it. Okay, she yeah, takes if, it. If that, if that just starts to save the course, that's yeah. not the Blair White we know. Because Blair White will only say that kind of shit when she has to the, leftists and to kids and to college students. I don't know. I just don't think I would ever eat a bullshit for anybody. I don't give a fuck. No, but, dude. Like, ain't no way I could sit there and fucking take that bullshit. No fucking way. Just because I wanted to be part of your fucking movement, fuck your movement. Uh, you can be a part of my bowel movement. Like, look, the left, I, you know, I got called online today a, a misogynist because sure. I made an off-color joke sure. um, about shoot. And fine. Fair enough. I don't want to be a far, fucking part of your fucking movement. I don't, I'm not a fucking commie. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> fuck off. 
Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck you up. You shut the fuck up. No, I have votes. They wanted you to shut the fuck up. They did in want all me to caps. shut the fuck up. I can't believe you. In took all caps. A, I took a, a poll with the two. And then you voted answers. for all caps. I think I, don't know. I did vote for all caps. I was like, I was like, wait, you voted? Yeah, for all I vote for all caps. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's this kind of hilarity that you could find on our Discord. You can join us. <laughs> and you hear us yelling. Oh, man. And then you'll hear, like, our, our buddy Demo Dread. He'll be yelling at all of us. Billy is the worst. He's the, to he's the most talkative one. He is. And opinionated. Holy oh. shit, this fucking guy. And bad opinions. Dude. He was my college roommate, and I love him. It's one of those roommates you just can't get rid of. Just <laughs> I love him. Um, but, yeah, we disagree on literally everything, even to the shape of the fucking earth. I can't. I think he's just fucking with you, dude. Which now, if if anyone tells him about Globo Homo, oh, it's on. <laughs> He'll love that. He'll watch on to things like that. He likes that. Shit. <laughs> he likes that. Um, and first thing, I'm gonna log in tomorrow into the Discord to play a little Destiny, and I'm gonna get called a Globo with our, Homo with our, our trans friend. All right, trans friend was trans friend Ross. or by he by, didn't say. Well, he can be bi and trans, can he? He can. It, or it could they, be just trans they or can just be. bi. They can be. I, d I don't know. They was, are. He was just aren't. saying the question he was answering yes to, 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 to on the census said, are you like bi or trans? I think it was one answer on the thing. And he was like, wouldn't that add to more representation? And I'm like, I want to see my buddy was. I thought, it was two different, I thought it was two different. Like, oh, maybe. I thought it was maybe two different categories. I thought it was like maybe it is. It male, female, trans. He should have given us more information. Or sh they should have given us more information. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. If, uh, if I misgendered you, Waz. Waz Lee. On, uh, <laughs> Good night, on, Joanna. On YouTube. Thank you for. You can uh, find Thank them. you for sitting find, through that. Find, I'm find really them. sorry. They, them, whatever. Make sure you say hi to Waz. Really sorry. <laughs> they are very cool people. <laughs> They're a very cool person. No, they are a crowd. No. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, yeah. That, that, to be honest with you, I think this is the first time I've ever like looked at Blair. And be like, wow, poor Blair. I know, right? But then I flash back to parts where Blair is just mean girling people. I'm like, mm, kind of. Like it says something about where I Blair's guess, at. I guess right? if you get your time to beat up on somebody else, this is where it, it's it's the. Uh, might as well have the boss come down and kick my dog. Might as well have uh, Blondie McFucknuts come over and kick her dog for her. <laughs> Just like, fuck it. I, I you know, if the, if the sheeting, shitting pipe goes down the line, I might as well just pass it on. So we got to, we got to witness Blair catching the shit-eating pipe. And, and then she guess just what? ate it. A dirty leftist is going to be getting that shit pipe next. She just ate it. She just fucking oh, ate she's, it. Oh, she's going to be brutal the next leftist you get all of. And just ring it out. No, I'm not kidding. No. All right. Anyway, now <laughs> you could you could do me no benefit. <laughs> like there's yes, no, I can't come here. Oh no! If, no I look gay last night. Look, look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about this after straight. Oh, we're gonna oh we're gonna spill some tea. <laughs> we'll talk about this after the straight. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Scroll. All right. Up. Look. Or do you have more? Or do you want to get? You, you want to move on to this shit? Well. Or do you not? This is, is sort of related. Let's do it. But it. All right. We'll do it real quick. Well, well real quick. We have to because now that you made me open another rubble, it's fine. Um. It, this is related, and uh, look, a lot of you know. Um, Penis. Lady Maga. I brought awesome. up Lady Maga, and oh, I'll, I just want to, I'll walk you through this real fast. This will not take long, and I just, just, we'll do this in five minutes. Here's Lady Maga on January 6th. Dear world, I'm in D.C. Everything the mainstream media is saying is a lie. You already know that, but I thought I would tell you anyway. And here he, he is, because he's not trans. He, his, he, he doesn't believe in pronouns. Right. He is, a drag, is a drag queen, okay? And there's a fucking difference, <laughs> okay? So, so here's Lady right, Maga. Ru Paul identifies as a male, it not 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 trans. He is a he. He's also a drag queen. That's right. That's right. I want to show. See, you. I see you, buddy. 
Because Lady Maga, who I brought up, uh, I guess, at the end of 2018 or 2019. Yeah, Lady um, Maga was supposed to be on our channel. Yeah, but back before, when she had like 100 followers and everything right. before she had really she, ju jumped into the grip. Or, or he, 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 he. Well, I don't know. In costume, though, I think you refer to as she. That's the traditional thing, but because he's so against pronouns, he doesn't want that bullshit. He doesn't want to be, he only, like, pronouns are bullshit, and he's a he, and he gets called a he, and then when people say, say, refer to him as a man, he always goes, yeah, yeah, I fucking hate this fucking pronouns are bullshit. I have a dick. He's, he's weird. He's a weird dude. Okay. Yeah, All right. Supposed to be on our show, and then, uh. And then, and then chickened out because of me. Yeah, you're an easy person to chicken out of. So here, this is more footage. You just saw that picture. It matches this. This is from January 6th. Save America. This is real news. You'll never see this on CNN. Come on, you guys. Let's do it. Wait. He calls himself Lady Maga, but don't call him a girl. Yeah, it's complicated. We're doing this for President Trump and for you, every American citizen. Show your love for a president of our country. Come on, let's do the Maga dance. Wait, there's all dance for Maga? Welcome, Chinese and Vietnamese for Trump. Let's come on, you guys. Come on. Trump. How much did they say that guy? Was I have no idea what I'm doing. What does this say? All right, 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 from January the 5th, this is the day before, uh, just a quick tweet. Enrique, the leader of the Proud Boys, is who he's referring to. Enrique did nothing wrong. I stand with Enrique and all of the, quotes, boys, Weak. who have shown me nothing but kindness, respect, and protection. He's talking about the Proud. He's talking about the Proud Boys. Right. Okay. Okay. Just, just I, look, I, I could walk you through the story, but I think I have another way of doing it. So we're gonna do it this way. Okay. We're gonna do it my way. Uh, this is January 5th, again, the night before in Washington, DC, um, at some sort of Republican or log cabin Republican event. Okay, Melania. This is me at a hurricane in Texas. Okay. <laughs> At a hurricane in Texas. Bring it. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. I know that the. Here's wow. the. Here's. Let's read the text. God in heaven, we love you, Flotus. Who at the time, like now that tweet, Flotus is now Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. So this tweet goes. So the wrong... this this tweet is dedicated to Joe so Biden. It, so it didn't age well. <laughs> Literally. You should be on the cover of every magazine across the globe. The communists hate you, but we love you. And so that's her, his walk impersonating Melania Trump, who is now, the Flotus account now has moved to Joe Biden. Fuck! You get it. You get it. You get it. All right, last link. So last levels. link, and now we're going to get into the story. And I'll, it tells a little bit more about, about... This bro. The plight of the bro of log cabin oh, Republicans. Oh, log cabin Republicans. Okay, I get you. I was fired from Delta <laughs> after an impeccable eight-year career. I was fired for politics, not performance. I was targeted on January seventh for being an LGBT conservative. Oh, wait. There's one more part of that that you're leaving out. Anyway, okay. I need to share my story and find legal help. There's one more little thing. It wasn't just because you were an LGBT conservative. What, where was she on the 6th? Or he on the 6th? 
Or at the fucking goddamn, at the Capitol fucking protest. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that was real shitty. Now, if you read the document here, the statement from Delta, um, Delta actually says like, hey, we are letting her go because, or letting him go because he violated our social media contract that all of our employees find. Um, file. You know someone that does the social media for Delta. Yes. And there's and a very strict to, contract. There's a very strict contract. And if you work for Delta, that contract kind of applies to you We're as well. We're in Atlanta. Home of Delta. Home of Delta and the social media, uh, actually social media department is here. We know someone who works at that department. It has in for years. Yes, in for the years. social media yes. department. And yes, you have to be very careful what you say on social media because as an employee of Delta, they view you as a, represent, a representative of Delta. And being at the Capitol protest on January 6th and flaunting it, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to get you fired. But they're kind of just like, don't be, ex I don't, whether it's extreme or not, it's, you have all your political views you want, but when you start to be problematic, they're like, look, it's not good for the company to even show but favoritism. Here's, the thing way. is, the thing is, we know, we know that, um, and uh, here. It, you know how, like, you know how, like, uh, NFL, the. That's Ryan Woods. Hold on, let me, let me finish what I'll say. Go ahead, go ahead. The, go ahead. Uh, the NFL. You've got the uh, the referees can't show favoritism. If if a referee outside of wearing his zebra stripes yes. is caught, repping, go Browns! Yeah, repping any team, wearing a hat, scarf, anything that reps a, he's fired. Like, fired. Not not even Gone. no question. Done. Because just for being an LGBT conservative. I have a feeling I have. I mean, if he's rooting for the Browns, is what I'm saying. <laughs> then Browns fire too. Um, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a. You have to understand that there's certain when you work for a company, particularly a company as big as like Delta, the busiest airport in the country world is Atlanta. Yes. The biggest airline company is Delta. Yes, they own like half of the fucking air. So like the air. one half of the airplane. Or the airport is Delta, Atlanta, and ninety percent of yes. the air. The South Terminal <laughs> is all Delta. Everybody else goes to North Terminal. That's why I always have to ask, where'd you fly? Not Delta. Okay, North, North Terminal. terminal. So, <laughs> I, when you work for a company as big that is as grand as the, any company like that, yes, like NFL or or Delta, when you work for a company like that. You might want to tread lightly on just your social media presence in general, but when it starts to have, the, it could be detracting from their brand, they're going to cut you loose immediately. So any fringe person that's like dancing too close to uh to something like had no problem with the uh, uh what's his nuts, what's his name Ryan Ryan, uh being Ryan a Woods. drag queen means yo that's Atlanta you know no problem no problem there no problem. <laughs> With Ryan being a Republican. Didn't care about that. But the moment that you start being like the political figure that hundreds of people start responding to and you're flaunting something r during the, what, what was on January 5th, where they, they broke into the, the Capitol building, all that shit. And they start January seeing- 6th. It, was it sixth or fifth? Sixth. I mean, the the the, the protest started, started on the fifth, fifth and then, but it was really just a rally, and right, they had a bunch of events. Right. So and when they start seeing that you are, you're a problematic person, regardless. And at that point, like a company's gonna be like, you know what? You're not. That's the free market. You're really not worth having here anymore. It's us, bro. Here's your walking papers, and you signed this contract when you got here, saying that you wouldn't <laughs> Keep be a clubby. Maybe Seals. Says, wow, what's with the nose ring? What did I miss? <laughs> like, like I as guess soon as you put a hoop in, I, uh, that face like, whoa. I guess. I, you know, whoa. Now no he's on He's on here touching fucking balls, wearing a fucking nose hoop. Might as well Talking be about drag fucking queens. babies. <laughs> yeah. Like, I I guess, I don't know. I've had the nose ring for like three years now. Almost three years. Maybe just shy of three years. <laughs> Hold on. I like how Tim described, explained it to, to Baby Seals. He switched from a stud when he had to get surgery. Just that quote is Leave a t-shirt. <laughs> right. Leave it there. Pat 
switch from a stud when he got surgery. At least, you know what? At least he had the courage to get the surgery, now, Blair. Now I'm a gilding. <laughs> See if I get that, but us. Oh, that's a horse joke. <laughs> <laughs> I made a Blair White joke. He made a horse joke. Same time. Laugh yeah. at whichever one you think is less offensive. Trans women, do we call them gilding? <laughs> no! <laughs> no. Kit cars. Sorry. <laughs> You're Come right. <laughs> this has been a very important stream. Very important stream. We've been and knocking down doors and putting them right back. We're up so sorry we've been gone walls. for two months uh, because 62 of you are still here. It's been I've been boiling over <laughs> with this horrible shit for a <laughs> while. Just eat up with it. <laughs> oh man! All right, look. Send your letters to Summer Street. What's the address? Uh, <laughs> nope. Nope. We're not doing that. All right, look, hold on. All right, stop, time out. Pause. Did we do getting over laziness? I thought there was three of there and I think we took one away. I, okay. I, what we need to do is we need to just back the fuck up align and our hear chakras. from, align our chakras, and hear from our spiritual advisor, our spiritual advisor, Rodney Norman, right? Yeah. Rodney Norman, our spiritual advisor, who has a message for us this week. Hold on. What? Okay, fine. Oh, hold on, Rod. Hold on, Rodney. Hold on, Rodney. Wait, wait, wait till I get your audio on. Okay. And, and we don't have to, we don't have to do the whole thing by the way. It's a uh, longer one. Um Oh Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. He he wants to do a speech and you're fucking it up. Okay, all right, Rodney. Spiritual <laughs> advisor official spiritual advisor of poison <gasps> poisoning the wall. Oh, and what and welcome uh to today. So this is a very uh uh wonderful occasion that we call now, I would just like <laughs> to uh, just uh, let you know that uh, in spite of all the horrors uh, going on in the world around you, um, you might have noticed that you're still here. Isn't that amazing how the days just, you think everything's going to go crazy and crappy and then all of a sudden you're just, you wake up and you got another day to go. So here you are. And so all that crap you keep putting off, you ought to just, we might as well just do the stuff. You know, quit putting, st you know, just do stuff. Quit, quit making up excuses for not doing stuff and just do the stuff. Uh, cause, cause, you know, that's, you, you keep, you keep saying, oh, I got so much to do. And then you don't do anything. And you're just sitting around <laughs> not doing much of anything. And if you just did like one of those things, uh, and you finished it, you'd be like, hey, I, I hey, that's pretty cool, I got one thing done. <laughs> so instead of saying, I didn't get anything done, you say, well, at least I got, uh, you know, that one thing done. So I did that thing. <coughs> so I just figure out what that one thing is and just do that. And then when you're done with that one thing, then you go, okay, well, that was pretty cool, maybe I should go do another thing. So then you go do uh, the other thing, and then pretty soon you, you find yourself accomplishing a bunch of things. Yeah. And that's the secret. Well, the secret is there's not really a secret to it. It's just you just do stuff. So you got you go, I gotta do stuff, and you just do the one stuff. Because because a lot of times you think you got too much stuff to do, and then you don't do anything. And it turns out that uh, all the things you had to do, and then what you ended up doing was doing nothing. That was productive. So you just pick one thing, just do it, and then just do it, then do other stuff. That's it. I mean, you can you sit around and make excuses for not doing stuff. That's something. <laughs> you put that on your list, and then you can say, "Look, I accomplished this." Uh, they, what did you accomplish? Well, I accomplished uh, making up excuses for not accomplishing things. And then, and then you realize that's kind of stupid, but really, that's what you've been doing. All right, all right. I, I think.
I Thanks. Think, I think we. Uh, Thanks, Rodney. I think we got we got the meat of what he was trying to say. Here. Yeah, like we get it. And then it's and he always brings some wisdom and some levity. Yeah, you know, he, he he doesn't some fake. gravitas he, to this stream. He doesn't fake the funk, you know. He, no, he, but no, and we're all better because of it. And when I say all, I mean you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing this for us. This has nothing no, to do with us. What we're trying to do is make you better people. For us. For us. Uh, let's read these here. Right. We got a super chat from Baron Cab. So close to the screen, Fane. You need spiky bi bifocals. I'm wearing bifocals under this. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. Got him. Boo! Where is it? Oh, did you? Where is it? What? Oh, there it is. Gotcha, bitch. All right. You got rid of my... Ha! Got him! You got rid of that. It's not done there. Shit. Did we have that? We used to have the ha! Got him! Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah, we forgot to gone. put that on and we updated the thing. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, the important thing that we still have is... To the... No! Okay. All right. No, why? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm working on something for, again, uh, to prove that I'm king of the internet. I've got something else coming. I got something else coming. I'm brewing it. I'm brewing it. All right. All right. It's time that, uh, it's time. The time that I have the most anxiety about every live stream. <laughs> this is about my my buddy Frankie McDonald, our weatherman. Um, I want Frankie, Frankie Weatherman. Frankie Weatherman, it's like Phil Phil Spiderman. Phil Phil Spiderman. Please, Frankie. I I don't know if he's bringing the weather this time. I think he's uh, announcing something. No, All right, okay, uh, maybe sometimes he does. Uh -huh. He goes off track occasionally from the weather. Everybody, it's Frankie McDonald, official weatherman. Yep, a weatherman. Frankie Weatherman, official weatherman. PGW News. Hey, everybody. I'm doing great. My father, Frank McDonald, he's writing his own songs for now. He's doing a lot of recording. He's making his own music. He's making his own original music himself. My father, Frank McDonald, is doing really, really great. His SoundCloud yeah. is Mystic Mist. So he's McDonald's making his own songs. He's writing lots of songs now. He's making more songs. He's saying some things like that. He's making a lot more, a lot more songs than ever were before. You should check out my father, Frank McDonald, Mystic Miss on SoundCloud, so you guys can listen to my father, Frank McDonald's songs. I'm Frankie McDonald. All right. There okay, we go. Uh, hey, okay, 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 uh, okay. The, the announcement right. is that uh, his dad, of, his the dad of the same Frank name, McDonald, Frankie Jr. or Frankie Senior, is Frankie uh, Senior is uh, uh, is have, Mystic Mist. Yep. On SoundCloud, SoundCloud, and we can. Do we have can you pull up SoundCloud? Maybe we should check it out. All right, let's check it out. Let's check out some jams, everybody. You know what? Exactly how I expected him to look. All right, let's look at. Here's a. Uh, here's here's. Shit, Frank, here's Frank Frank, Frank, Frank Senior. Senior, Frankie McDonald Senior. Um, so let's uh, let's, let's, let's not get copyright claim, let's just listen to it. People like to dance, is what it's called. Let's call people. people like to dance, move to the groove, shake that body, everybody dance away the night on to more life. another one like after that a little bit of fucking grooviness we're not just gonna walk away well like it's how the lyrics come right in dude there's no like Bye. 
that apple fell straight down, didn't it? It's <laughs> like, 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 damn. Hold on, prisoner one more. Of one the more, night. prisoner of the night. In the, the thumbnail of just the night over the ocean. It's just a moon low over the ocean. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let's, let's see. Beautiful. What, prisoner of the night. Grammys. <laughs> like, like, my ears are full of fucking Grammy nominations. Wow, Frankie and Frank, Frank Sr., you guys are. Do we have enough for one more of these? Oh, <laughs> like, <gonna> have to. <laughs> all right. That was. Chef Kiss. <laughs> Frank McDonald, Mystic Mist on SoundCloud, everybody. Here, I'm going to put it in the chat. I'm going to put it. Put it dead ass in the chat. Uh, wow, the chat is really moving right now. Like, there's some big response. <laughs> Sorry, I just moved because I haven't looked at the chat in a while. It's original, says my, 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 my ass is dragon. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably pronounced differently. Scott Gordon says, I was once in Nova Scotia, but didn't meet any of the locals. I guess I was lucky. <laughs> Um, is there no lyric of get your Chinese food? I'm not buying. Uh, Order your Chinese food and your pizzas. I guarantee there's eventually got to be a song if there isn't already on there. So Ooh. check it out. Oh. What are you doing tonight? I blew it right out of the fucking... I don't need any criticism from my telephone about how I take shots. Um, now... This man is the Bob it. Dylan of SoundCloud. The Jimi Hendrix of pussy getting. <laughs> Fucking, this guy does pussy sex. Deep. Frank McDonald Sr. The first. Like, That's some good like, grilling music. Like Boomer Slam poetry. <laughs> yeah. All right, you didn't listen to any of that first. <laughs> no, I, I I saw it and I was like, you know what? You know what? Let's fuck it. Let's do it live. <laughs> well, I was like, I didn't have time. I was like, oh. fuck it. We're doing it live. Well, like I was like, should I inspect it and like find the best song? But now I'm like, I wouldn't have found the best. <laughs> no, song. I would have just. They're said, all equally amazing. I would have said, let's just go live. Fuck, fuck. That, that apple fell straight down. I really like that was my favorite <laughs> comment. <gasps> Just <laughs> if that doesn't prove gravity, <sighs> it fed the roots. <laughs> so it keep Addy Monster donated one dollar <laughs> and said, The drag trans thing is simple, but I understand the confusion. He wants to be called Lady in the costume because he's playing a character, but when you ask his pronouns, he'll refer you to his real identity for the answer. Yes, yes, but that makes it very complicated. I mean, you because yeah, it's the 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 like. Come on, man. A uh, Paige Brooks, Nicole Paige Brooks. I'm friends with on on Facebook. Big uh, uh, drag queen here in Atlanta. In character, it's she. Yes, that's how it is. Uh, Across the board, ninety nine of a hundred fucking times. Yes, but with Lady Maga, if you misgender so, her character, his character, then he's like, no, there's only two genders, and I am a man. Yeah. Lady Maga, the so man. Yes. Uh, Paige Nicole Brooks 
Uh, <laughs> she she is a she because that's her drag. That's name. her drag character. That's yes. how I've always known it. I've had look, RuPaul is RuPaul. I threw my call first RuPaul girl when when he's in drag. You call I threw my drag. first drag party at the office in Pensacola, Florida, on a Monday fucking night. We had a big drag show with my friend. And you got uh, fired Scott. on Tuesday when they found out you were in the office. Doing <laughs> <that shit. laughs> and and that was when I was twenty six years old. Like, I've been around this community for a long fucking time. If they could see you now. If they could only see me now, they would be like, what the fuck? You still don't get it? <laughs> you're bumping <laughs> junk with this guy, and you're just like... like but, but you said we were the gay ones. Yeah. yeah. Did you say that they were the gay ones? Mm -hmm. I did say they were the gay ones. So I'm like, okay. stop it, gay ones. <laughs> you're the gay ones. A bunch of gay ones. We should hang out. And at least one of them wasn't gay. And I was like... Yeah, then, by the way, BT Dubs, they're not always gay. No. <laughs> But that guy just would fucking man. win like every contest, like yeah. crushed it and was like, I'm not gay. But then, but then would act so gay, but so good. I'll have to show, I'll, sh I'll show you something. He's amazing. I gotta find, He's uh, amazing. Uh, like, my wife is friends with some, uh, one of the, I don't know if it's drag or just trans. Well, it's, well, it's important. Started, it's started, it's started, an important no, thing I, to I, know. I believe she started, you better figure I, that out I first. Think she started as drag and then became, became trans. trans. But like, a lot of people look at Blair and be like, "She sells it." Now, if you meet Blair in person, you're kind of like, "Something's off." Yeah, it's like it, you. It's you wouldn't. Maybe you wouldn't immediately she's jump. She's a to, bitch. She's a she, bitch. She's a mean girl. Like she's a mean girl. That's why. Like tonight. Watching not, that not was so hard to digest because it wasn't what we like, are. No, experience. because I've hung out with her. I've, I've seen her a few times, a few multiple times. times. I went to her birthday party. Is that a birthday party? I guess it was a birthday. It was party. a birthday party. Oh, yes. I was drunk. Yeah. So we were wasted. We crushed it. We did. Good Remember guy. that was the night. Fucking Jeff Holiday. Fucking screamed at skeptic and like called like word. there was all that drama. And then I yelled at uh, what's his name at the taco cart because oh. he uh, the needle drop. Uh, Needle Anthony, drop. Anthony Fantano. Anthony Fantano. I yelled at him because he gave a bad review to a band. I don't even care. You don't, yeah, you. you <laughs> I don't even you, care. You arbitrarily listen to it. It's like every time you hear that band play, you're like, oh yay, home proud, home yeah, proud. It? It's uh, Mastodon. Mastodon. Yeah. Because the, the the album he slammed was the one that they recorded right here. Right like, here, right by our house. Like, it must be the best one. You can jog to it. Yeah. <laughs> like how close it was where they recorded, and. I don't know. Look, it's we. You, you take us. You you take your uh, soapbox with you. You know what, you know? Fantano? We apologize later. We did. We talked. Like he, we've been cool. We're cool with Fantano. Yes. But it was a weird. Look, was a weird I know you're not watching. <laughs> but oh, someone clipped this and sent to Fantano. Yes. Uh, Mystic well. Mist. Yeah. On yeah. SoundCloud, put it in your fucking ear, Bobs, and put it out to that million yes. plus subscriber channel, bro. Yes. Needle Drop needs to cover Mystic Mist. Mystic on. Mist. Yeah. Frank McDonald, Senior the First. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we have the talent month. I don't we think do. I'm, I think I have a rant this week. I think I ranted plenty throughout the fucking <laughs> stream. I, I told you you weren't ready for it. You thought you were. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I was. I just, it was like, it's imagine like if an MMA fighter about to get in the ring, but instead of knowing who he's going to fight, they just spin a wheel and they're like, oh, Grizzly Bear. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like, I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident, but I'm also like, the Fuck. I didn't expect the fucking grizzly yeah, bear. No one said grizzly bear wearing a top hat. <laughs> fucking what the what the? Like I'm, I'm confused. He's a grizzly bear. Yeah. So real grizzly bear. Oh. This one's gonna require sounds. Boy. Yeah. I see that it is. All right, everybody. It's Mister. Westby. Westby. Ukessa. Ukessi. 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 Look. The most Yukesi. talented man on the internet. Is here once again to prove why he deserves that. Why crown. he's got the crown? Oh boy! One more time. Nailed it. Yeah, he keeps coming up with him, dude. You think like this you think, guy you can't, think he's got no more rabbits in that he's hat? Got nothing else. He's and got no more ammunition in the gun, no more dry powder for his musket, but he always yeah. does. 
Yeah, see, look, it's Wes P, Mr. U Ukesa. Yeah, yeah, here, here, let me, let me. But then, like, it's at Wes P with, like, eight like, eyes. Like, everybody's like, why, why can't you pronounce his name? Well, first Tell of all, me what this is. It's, it's, it's random letters. Right, yeah, so of, of a language I don't talk. And then it's Wes, Wes P, P, Mr. Ukesa. Ukesa? But it's at BGT two hundred one and AGT twenty eighteen. Yeah, like that's that's and all. And it's at U E S P I I I I. Which I guess is West Uspe. What Uspe? So yes, this is why we don't know because he goes. We by don't all, know. He goes by all names. I know sometimes we do memes, but this one we literally have no this answer. We have no idea. I I say Mister Ukesa. That's who I think his name is. You go with Westby more often. Westby. <laughs> Anyway, well, it's been a hell of a night. It's been a lot of ups and downs, guys. Mostly boners. <laughs> uh, plenty of junk touching going around. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to respond to all my text messages now. And we'll explain to Pat what is happening in my phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I got some. I have some questions. Yep, we all have questions. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You're not gonna like the answers to any of it. Oh, okay. I see now what my rant was. It was the rant we. I just didn't. I decided to do as a bit. And oh, just, you did it. We showed it. We already. showed it last week. That's right. Yeah, we showed it. I was last like, week. wait, why? Did, I was like, when did you cast? I was you like, turned oh. it. You turned it instead of a rant into a stand-up comedy. Yeah, I, routine. Because, but we hadn't done a show. A bit uh, like a show. A bit. Almost two months, and I was like, I had comedy shows going. Like, you know, I'm just gonna rant about this on stage, and it went okay. Hey, and I just want to thank everybody for all the donations tonight. That was really kind. Uh, Catnips, you are a real son of a bitch. But you're still top of the game. Still top of the you game. Are, you were um, a chat lord. Tonight. I'm going to have to update the... Look, there it just went over the top. Huh? Along with all the VIPs running across the there. There's Catnips yeah. again. Right there. The $20. Third skeptical fighter jet who always wants to dunk on us because of the, the lie. Super Bowl lie. Yeah. Okay. Good show. I think I crushed it. Bad, you, no. okay. <laughs> you could have done better. I I just All you could do I is need to present. be alone. All you could do is present. That was what I need to be alone for a while and think about what I've done here. Look, you've already disappointed your family. Um anyway, something's gonna happen this week and maybe we'll do this again next week. Uh so. this is two in a row. Count it. Count it. Now that we're both like have not literally nothing else better to do on our calendars, hmm. you'll probably have to sit through more of this bullshit. I'm sure um, more drams will show up and we will talk about it with you guys. Uh, the fact that uh, the view counter stayed pretty steady this whole time is more of a reflection on you than it is us. Dedication of the self loathing that y'all have. Yes. The um, willingness to put yourself like, through yeah, just thank you for deciding not unbelievable to, torture. Yeah, thank you for not uh, cutting yourself tonight and just decided you just watch it yeah, instead. Instead of cutting myself. I will hurt myself this way. Yes, something that will leave marks. <laughs> yeah, permanent. I can always flash back to this instead say, of, you what know. What the fuck am I doing with my life? You know, the neighbor fucking me in a domino mask. I'll just, just look at... <laughs> <laughs> that is cut, motherfucker. <laughs>